Yeah. And as you can see, two oh. lovely gentlemen here. We've All right, Bingus Bongus versus Aggressive Duck. Oh, in winners round one. Oh, Classic a meltdown matchup. The Byleth this time. Okay, I I'm a Byleth appreciator, so I'm I'm looking. I personally, I, I love a big penguin. So we, we've got two different sides here, to be honest. Yeah. I know these two actually played um, at Limitless uh, back in February, big tournament. I think Ooh. the rest of that won that. Um, but it feels like 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 something that happens every a set that would happen at Meltdown a lot because they're both very regulars. Mm -hmm. I feel like I feel like uh, DDD is also very common in in the UK because I heard like six months ago that the UK has like five or six DDDs. Yeah, we're in London alone, man. Yeah, so many. <laughs> So if you don't know the matchup here, something has gone wrong. Yeah. They all kind of play different. Aggressive Duck loves his loves his Gordo, loves his inhale. Yeah. Um, and he's doing quite well. That's okay. a nice up there. That was a good catch. Capitalizing on the uh, disability of my left not uh, able to land. A little bit scrappy here. Uh, not too sure if, um, like, what... Each character should be looking for here. But it's a very scary situation for, for Mr. Bongus here. Able to get out there. He has, like, a, he has a little bit of trouble uh, keeping the mid range. This is where Bile was pretty good at. Um, and uh, Aggressive Duck always like gets close somehow and uh, can punish him for that. Oh, that's close. It's scary, but still staying alive for yeah. now. I w yeah, I do want to be seeing a lot of Byleth there. It should be practically unpunishable for DDD. It doesn't have yeah. the out of shield options to get it. punish it guaranteed. For sure, for sure. So if you can just sort of get up in DDD's face, press buttons, yeah, it's scary. The, like, this is one of the matches where DDD. Oh, very good catch. It's one of the matches where DDD doesn't want to, like, shield. He wants to, like, be mobile so he can punish uh, Byleth's landing areas much better. Or, like, call them, calling them out as well. Hold on. That's good, take the damage, avoid uh. the jet hammer, and <laughs> even get a hit for it. That's nice. Nice, nice play. Can you kill? Ah, uh, unfortunately not. Ooh, Ooh, okay. DDD lived that. It though. didn't kill, damn. DDD lived that move at 1.150. Yeah. yeah, the area one is weaker than, than the ground one. So. Uh -huh. Oh, nice. Powerful snipe there. Hitting, hitting his mark. It's a long way to go, though. Two stocks um, to one. An aggressive duck, hardly touched here. There's that there, but not f uh, hit confirmed, not getting the dash attack. Yeah, he didn't get the landing hit, so it doesn't confirm it falls out. Ooh. I'm liking the ideas from Ooh. aggressive duck. The roll in is what you want to do against um, inhale like that, but if you're not getting the punish, it doesn't mean as much. Good anti air. Yeah. Always important to like have good anti against Byleth, because as I said, Byleth cannot land and has not really good uh, landing tools. General. Be very careful to hear. Because you can you can tell the aggressive duck's out for Ooh, blood. Nice okay. landed read. What can you do with this though? Oh, this is very unfortunate and he might die here. It's a regrab. Yep. Oh. And somehow stays alive. Can Okay! Now this is winnable. Oh. It's not winnable. <laughs> not at all. Why did I why did I say anything? I was that was pretty good though, he brought it back, brought it back from a uh, two stock deficit, so maybe we will see more in the next game. Mm. Definitely has room to that. I'm loving, loving his fit by the way, those sunglasses. Mm. Gorgeous. <laughs> it's probably because of the, because of the uh, light, the yellow light, I don't know. Oh yeah. Maybe it's a light filter. What, what are these cards against? Gunners? Oh, like the Gamer Glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're too stylish to be like Gamer Glasses. No, no Gunner Optics here. That's true, that's true. Okay, going to PS2. PS2 is pretty good stage. Bit of room to move around in. But I feel like he, uh, he's doing well when he does get up, up close and press... Uh, when he presses now. Yeah. So maybe you kind of just want to like... You want to be up close. Maybe PS2 gives Aggressive like a little bit too much room to move around in. Mm, Who knows? Definitely. Something to think about, I guess. It feels like Bingus uh, Bongus doesn't have the right sort of timing when it comes to hitting the Gordo back, and he's taking a lot of like unnecessary hits. Maybe he's not like spaced, uh, oh, like properly around it, or not reacting to the move. Good start, good start. Bingus doesn't know the range of the RP really, really well. Could oh, okay, that was good. That was a good attempt. 
It's nice having that disjoint to just outrange, you know. Otherwise, it can be like kind of tricky to punish if you're not behind. Mm. This is how the range has. That's true. Looking aggressive okay. up here. Jet Hammer resetting again. Avoiding the, the side B. That's really heavily charged. For nothing, though. Oh, for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Aggressive Duck took some damage from, from it, uh, Jet Hammer as well. Which is pretty funny. <laughs> Able to get back in, though. Again, and yeah. Oh, the shield grab on the net. I feel like that's, that's not guaranteed. Good. But you're not Good patience. Not Good patience on the on Aggressive Duck side, though. Mm. Holding, the, holding the shield. I get hit by the last hit so many times. Yeah, that's... Oh, Ooh, the no. reversal. Yeah, that's what you. That's what you usually don't want to do. Is uh, edge guarding Bile from from above, because at like uh, I think it was like 48 uh, percent, the up starts to spike. So you yeah. have to be careful about edge guarding Bile from from the uh, from that angle. Yeah, Grass Duck got sniped there. Like, he yoinked into uh, to his death, and he he does like going off for those runoff fares and runoff. Bears when trying to catch the real in. So it, 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 put, it puts us up in a very scary spot. He's doing right here though. A lot of damage on Bingus Bongus' second stock. Which I also barely see when uh, Bingus Bongus gets uh, aggressive duck in the air. He doesn't use the up, uh, the up air a lot to juggle DDD. Because it's like, has a huge hitbox. So um, DDD has is kind of forced to land and he cannot land at all. He has like a lot of jumps to mix up, but it's still tricky. That should have been a punish, but nothing on the grab. It's kind of tricky. But yeah, you're right. It's a lot of like up Bs trying to snatch out from the ground, but you yeah. can just do like a short hop up air. Yeah. Uh, and, and, ca and catch uh, DDD whilst he's sort of in the air, because that move is huge. Ooh. I think he'll take that trade. Just arrow, arrow for Bordo. Oh, really heavily charged that, and that nearly hit from cross stage. Damn. Okay, that's it. That is usually the way to go when you're when you're DDD and uh, the opponent's at kill percentage. You usually just wanna wanna get something into the up to. Uh, Bingus does like going for the. Oh, very scrappy. He he does like his uh, up B, uh, side B. Confirm. Yeah, even if he likes the specials confirming. a lot, yeah. but doesn't use his norm as much. So I just wanna see now, man. Yeah, press that button. What can DDD can't nice. do anything there. Yeah, just press it again. He has no, he has no good of the sh out of shit options at all. Yeah, especially if you cross up. Best yeah. thing he has is like, like a uh, up smash or yeah, like which a, is a landing really slow. Yeah. Shield. nothing guaranteed. Oh, that grab from so far away. <laughs> okay. Oh, I do like the side B's that he's been doing to sort of swap uh, the yeah. penguin out. Yeah, he's getting a lot of damage from the side B as well, so it's not, uh, it's not a bad. I would say. Oh, he's living so long, man. Bingus has got to get this stock off. Stalling there. Can he get the stock? We'll wait for, wait for the up air. Number two, oh. gonna go high? No, oh, and no, no punish from the grab either. Oh, um. there's some start up on that, on that arrow. Oh, it's scrappy. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. He could have done anything he in the world. He could have could anything with but so that. many moves. The up tilt's gonna oh, do okay. it. This is, this is doable for our hero, Bingus. Oh, it is. Can he make the comeback? Oh my god, what is this trap? So many layers, that's gonna come around, that, it, will, it will work out some way. <laughs> it's, all, it's all planned, no one, no one oh, understands it. Oh, nice. No one can comprehend what goes on in the in the mind of aggressors up, but it works. Yeah. You takes that too, man. I think it's like, like, uh, series a lot, but never, never used like, um, yeah. Never used, yeah, never used the normals as much. And by the way, are crazy if used properly, especially with the range. Especially like forward air, down tilt, F tilt in general. Mm. And Diddy can, cannot punish it at all. Yeah. Like, there's no way Diddy, Diddy can <laughs> punish it really landing forward air. So you can't just spam it. And it also like, um, can't, can't just, uh, cut us to go though. Yeah, it, like at, literally any. Yeah. Hello. Hey man. Any any move like that does like two percent will send that fin back. Yeah. It, so it, it kind of sucks that like Bingus got hit by so many of them. Mm. It's, it's all just like he whiffs the move and gets punished by it, sort of yeah. mistiming stuff. Yeah. It is what it is. Maybe he they're new yeah. to uh, to bite off, so you yeah. know. <laughs> oh, he loves this attention, doesn't he? Yusuf, he he won the last Monday meltdown, but unfortunately the stream was not there, so no one saw it. So Wait, there was no stream. There was no stream because uh, oh. uh, it's normally Reptile who sends sets it up, but he uh -huh. was with me in um, Hamburg for. Oh, 
I see, I see. And so, yeah. <laughs> Hamburg's fault. That was the film I wanted to watch. <laughs> oh, is this? This is a snake ditto. We've got Etz and Yusuf280. Uh, oh, I, I, okay. I never know how you actually say his, like, say the 280 bit. Because I, like, I've heard someone say Yusuf, like, two at, and that sounds, that sounds like twat. Like, if you say <laughs> it too quickly. And I don't think that's what he wants. But it could be, it could be two at two a T or two eighty, like two eighty. Yeah, I I, also, I always uh, when I see that name, I always uh, say two eighty. Two eighty. Two eighty. Instead of like writing writing the uh, full number, just put this uh, put this to. Oh my god! Yeah. I was uh, I was confused. I was just looking at the right screen right there. Ah, oh, that's <laughs> good. Yeah, every oh. every week. Uh, LDR likes to bring his laptop. I yeah. don't know if that's what he's using at the moment, but yeah, he's got uh, Rivals Rotation sub. Yeah. Not a rotation, it's free falls. They're scrapping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it, oh, and it's um, Workshop as well. Just like Red that like characters. I can't see. It's like a Luigi, but it's like purple. Yeah, I saw I saw the Mario uh, earlier with uh, a few other moves than uh, Smash. I was able to do yeah. like uh, do a do a dash jump, which was really, which was pretty cool from Mario 64. What's that? Nice. Oh, the speed run of Mario. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. <laughs> it's so cursed. <laughs> this is so. It was uh, hella funny. Um, can't lie. Okay. Something that might just might be as cursed. The Snake Ditto. Got Eds. Mm. He's a another. They're both like London, like look like meltdown regulars now. Eds has been around in the scene for a year. Regular player. Beaten Robbie a few times. Good lad. Very nice guy. Uh, but Snake Ditto. Fun. Woo! What are your thoughts? It's probably it's probably just yeah they're throwing grenades at each other as as soon as someone gets hit the uh, the other snake will go in and try to push advantage. I think that's how it's gonna be played, or they will throw grenades at each other until someone said kill percentage. And as soon as someone is off stage, they just do the usual. They they throw the Nikita out. And then uh, trying to kill because Nikita kills stupid early, and it's like a um, yeah non-effort edge guard. But you know, yeah. hands free. Yeah, but that's how it is. Socially distance edge guarding, man. <laughs> but no one talks about like snakes, snakes, uh, snakes crouch in general. For example, like uh, uh, the other moves of snakes are so broken, like. Snakes crouch and down to it. So good. He's like smaller than Kirby. That's disgusting. You know? like, that's very he's, disgusting. He's so tall. Yeah. He, look, he's just like a line either. That's either like vertical or horizontal. Look how, look how tall he is now. And then watch him crouch. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Footstool side B. What the? Oh my god. Who's who though? Is it I like, right? I think GCC rap's going to be uh, Yusuf. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that, that's the Middle Eastern thing. I can't remember what the like, golf coat. No. Ah, okay. Now it's changed. Yeah. Good, good, good. Okay, I'm curious how. Mm -hmm. That's what. Okay. Ooh. I'm still going unpunished because that move is diabolical. Even okay. with, if like that, they're out of shield. Oh, oh my very God. good. Okay, they're hands-free edge guarded man. Okay, the game started with a lot of scrapping already, so they're not they're not camping them out uh, with grenades, which is nice. So we can see a fire game. Exactly. Like if if you both have the same zoning tools, it's gonna be hard to like. Make a make decent progress when trying yeah. to zone each other out. Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> he just oh the trigger, man. no way! <laughs> oh again. my god! What is this? I think stop. <laughs> I think they were. Uh, I think uh, ETS was able to get shield broken Ooh. by yourself. Oh nice! Crackheads. Oh, he didn't grab. This is. This is like the first time I've ever like tried like commentated a snake though. Ever seen it like I and trying to like break down like what that what are they doing? What goes on it in their mind? I don't know when was the last time I saw a snake though, honestly. But this looks fire. <laughs> yeah. Everything is, everything is close. Both of them get damage from their opponent or from themselves. <laughs> <laughs> same brain cell. Both pressed the <laughs> both <laughs> at the same time. One of them didn't realize they were off stage. Yeah. <laughs> didn't cancel it. Either either way he died to a Nikita. Oh, oh mistime. Idea. But if he it's the right get the right guess on on the option, just mistiming! Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> what is 
it's even the whole time. Like it's uh, always even, so it's pretty nice to see. At least there's like no no one-sided match. We don't like to see that. The most woke thing I've seen. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, tilt face the wrong way to hit. Nice, nice. Ads. Okay. Ads. Uh, ah. You wanted to down, uh, to forward air. It's like a usual snake thing to do if you like get a few hits going with his normals. Oh no. Oh, he's dead. Oh, Attack. he's alive. Doesn't matter though. He's dead. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> he oh. <laughs> but but for a second, I thought he was living. There was some, there was some copium going <laughs> yeah. out there for sure. I believe. Yeah, if Ed, if Ed's got the right hit. Yeah. <laughs> He, yeah, he got the like uh, uh, Yusuf like timed the release on the Nikita really well mm. uh, to for it to be still be active even, even after because otherwise the the back would sort of just make ignore it and let's get away. It's very it's very satisfying. Like I've seen I've seen both these players sit down there so often and it's feels very satisfying. Oh, do I have to play you? Okay, going back to small bit. Oh, here. my fault. I mean, I can, do you want to take my place? It's time. <laughs> Goodbye, I've got a set to play. Okay, focus just left me, that's fine. We got something else coming here. Uh, either Hello, way, it's... I am now focus miss, I guess. <laughs> um, welcome, welcome. We are, about, we are seeing a fire uh, snake tattoo right here. Yeah, snake tattoos are always so random, bro. You can never tell what's gonna happen. Yeah, they are, they are scrapping so much. Right. Snake players, which is kind of crazy. I thought they would camp a little bit more with like grenades and everything. Yeah, that's that's what I was, uh, I was saying. But for some reason, they are like fighting. They're like fighting each other. Right, this is very entertaining to watch. Yeah. Okay. And it's even the whole time, which is kind of nice to see. We don't like, yep. as, as I said, we don't like the like the one-sided matches. No one wants to see that. Very even so Ooh. far. Both characters. Oh, have. My, oh god. my god! That broke show. No, no way. way. What is the point? Oh, uh, uh, down smash. I thought he was like just going for the F smash because F smash just feels satisfying to it. <laughs> I thought he was gonna stick him or something, but yeah, no reasons to risk it right there. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm very worried about that C4 on the on the right side yeah, because right? it's been there for a long time. Ah. <laughs> oh, there you go. It's 30 seconds, right, until it detonates by itself. I believe, or something like that. I have sure. no idea, actually. I wish I would know. That's probably around that, yeah. Okay. Oh wait, that oh killed my God. at what? Yeah, it got a little bit of rage going. Yeah. And you dragged them off stage as well, which uh, kind of helps as well at killing. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So you much damage was... coming out really quick. Yusuf's running away with the lead. It's not. It's not as one. Uh, it's not as even anymore. I feel like, especially in this ditto, because there's so much explosions going on. Once you have a lead, it's so. Yeah. Once you don't have a lead, it's so. Oh hard my to god! Make it what is he cooking? Oh Ooh. my god! What are they cooking? <laughs> oh, oh my god! Shield break. Shield break. Oh, this. he tried to. Oh, oh my oh god! These two are definitely cooking, but I don't yeah. know what they are cooking. <laughs> oh my bro, god! Though. Okay. 124 is he going to be able to make this back? in the back. Oh my god. Okay, barely kill it. Oh! oh that was not what, the what you uh, want to do. That's not what you want to do. But, yep. uh, yeah. Yusuf uh, taking it 2 0. Pretty clean. Um, that was the probably most entertaining snake that I've ever seen. I'm glad. Yeah, that was really fast set for yeah, a snake turtle. Yeah, they, they scrapped so much, so that's. Uh, that was a blessing to see, and it was fast. I think I have to play now. That's why I uh, okay, didn't yeah. want to commentate that first, but you know. I'll probably focus at the play, so he had yeah. to hop up as well. All right. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> no, no, that was fire. That was, <laughs> was fire. A, that was, was lit, yo. <laughs> that was hella lit. All right, uh, I'm signing off. See you later. Bye.
interesting. How's this mic work? How's this mic work? Okay, uh, Amber here, Gaijo Production. Uh, seems like we have no commentators for this set, so uh, enjoy the gameplay, I guess. Uh, sadly, I cannot commentate because I'm doing this remotely, but anyway, enjoy the game. I am joined by my good friend, Mischief. Hello. We are getting into this game one. Okay, so. so this is an interesting one. We're seeing the Dark Samus pick from Longo, it looks like. I think Dark Samus does very well against Little Mac, just because the neutral B will hit below ledge a lot better. You get the grab whenever he's on the floor trying to super armor. You have the missiles, you've got the bombs. So I think the neutral works very well in this matchup for him. I would say so. However, I think there's a couple niche things that come into play more than oh, you definitely. think. Just the fact that Mac has such a small running animation, he can actually get under a couple projectiles. And also, he can't allow, or he's definitely not allowing Longo Space to set up. Oh, yeah. Um, it's, then we have the edge guarding. It's not going to be a free matchup. Like, Mac doesn't really have those matchups uh, with zoners where it's like, oh, I can't play the game. But yeah, exactly. it's definitely one where... Of the zoners, I think Dark Samus does particularly well just by virtue of how some of their stuff works. But yeah. DJR showing it doesn't matter how the match it might be. If you got the reads, you got the two frames, you got the dub. Exactly. Now, Longo might be adapting his strategy a bit. He's going for these smaller charge shots and trying to either force out a shield or force uh, Mac into the air. Yeah. Which, regardless. I, th I think he's trying to just have enough things that enough options are covered. And with Little Max, sometimes when one or two options are covered, you can't really do much else. Not really, um, no. That, a bit of an unfortunate trip for DJR, but exactly. he nothing. Was a lot of pressure there. And he's he's finding that air dodge through. So scary to air dodge against Mac just Very by. If you get wrong, and he did a quick move like a down tilt, you're eating a lot for that. Exactly. Now Longo is definitely getting into these panic air dodges. Well, I would panic too because Mag. Yeah. Ooh, that was a meaty forward smash. And another one, and that's the stock. Okay, so DJR is one of the funniest momentum players I've ever seen because sometimes he just gives up when he's at the end. But now you're going to see him pure hubris. He's going to hit attacks on shield and then he's going to hit attacks again. It doesn't matter if it hit on shield. Well, he is showing this is not a turn-based game. If you don't have a turn, I will make you respect my moves, which exactly. is very good. Um, but we are looking at potential kill percent here for Dark Samus as long as he's still got that KO punch. Just lost it. I'm trying to be a bit too anxious there. Ooh, that armor. That's that so hubris, strong. baby. <laughs> Will be interesting to see if Longo stays Dark Samus in this matchup. I think it's very interesting when these top players have a couple different characters in the chamber. But as we can see, one has been defeated now. So whether he actually likes this matchup, you know, more than more, or whether he just wanted to try out the character, he does have a tough decision to make. Oh, what do you think he's going for? I feel like, at the very least, we're going to see a very different stage. Maybe one which has less room, or a, maybe a character switch since they're running it right back. Yeah, um, I was going to say. I, I, um, I'd be surprised, same stage, same character, but... Oh, he, that, that's the real character switch. Are. Two for two in terms of being wrong, and I like that. That's good. <laughs> I mean, 
the, the Samus players are going to be in the chat right now telling us about how the characters are so different, guys. Oh. Exactly, yeah. Trust me. Oh. But maybe he just wants the different hardbox shifting on the up air and like the different jump. But honestly, That's it might just be he, he, yeah. he thought the Samus skin looked cooler. Exactly, I'm saying. Um, will be interesting to see what adaptions he does bring, though. Um, yeah. Now, as you can see, DJR are definitely rolling in, jumping in as well. He's being hyper aggressive right now. I'm not sure if that's in his best interest. I do like using that grab to beat out the neutral B because the arm on that is rather strong. And so the fact you've got a tether grab might as well use it just to catch any map players who might, on habit, in the air or on the ground, start charging the neutral B for the armor. Um, exactly. Longo just exhibiting some serious patience there. He knows that Mac has to catch him in the air, or he's just gonna stay there. It's he always so that. funny to me when against like Luigi or Kazuo or Little Mac, someone just on a platform, yeah. and the both players stand there for a second, like, <laughs> who's gonna move? Exactly, who wants to move first? It reminds me of the good old days, or bad old days, depending on how you look at it, in Smash 4 with, uh, what was that, the Dark Hunt stage? Ah. Where people just camp on the tree. <laughs> I'm so glad I never played Smash 4. That game was so messed up. I missed oh. that scene. But you were missing out on that stage, not gonna lie. DJI is finding that first stock, so maybe he, he he might find himself taking out Longo. A beautiful side beat. I think that's one thing that some people don't quite see is the spacing that some map players put on their side B when they use it, how high they go, whether they um uh, do the early version. I, yeah. I like a lot of the mix-ups some of them put in just to like change things up, mix up the tempo, catch someone with a mix-up, even doing the same move. Exactly. I strongly agree with that. I'm really liking Longo's pivot grabs and his positioning here, but it just seems like in CPC he's just losing out a tiny bit. Now that was an interesting air dodge. Another yeah. well-placed side beat. DJ has got these right now. The footstool, changing the meta. A beautiful carry. Now, this is a seriously ugly situation for Longo. But well, I believe he can probably get out of the corner scot free just like that. I think the timing on that ledge drop was immaculate. The second well his mid speed ran out, yeah. he knows DJR is going to swing in case he does um, an earlier one or if he stays there. And he managed to get that forward and get the stage back. And from that, took the stop. Exactly. So now this is the complete opposite situation of before where DJR was in complete control. Now DJR needs to take the stop. But it is Little Mac. If he manages to get, um, say, an up to up B here or something and take the stock, he'll be in a very good position. Um, really? But I, I don't think Longo wants to let him get down to get the chance. Ooh. He has that KO punch. Can he keep it for long enough to maybe get a condition or. Ooh. And now here comes something to body. Ah, oh, it's off. That back hit of the Nair, such a strong move. But that doesn't mean it's over, however. Mac has many oh, more tricks up his sleeve. Little Mac has the shield break. He's got the just raw forward smash. He has some of the up to up B confirms. He has a lot of ways for sending out stocks, but... Longo being extremely patient there. Very well done. That up tilt sending up, not the direction we want. That up tilt, whether it sends up forward or backwards, feels like RG sometimes. Uh, DJI is not catching these air dodges in. There's been a couple of them. But I think, as Little Mac sometimes trying to commit to catching someone who goes high and air dodges in and does nothing, it can be a bit hard. But this is such a scary position for Longo. Down the game. In silence oh. here. Oh, very, very close. DJI playing that extremely well. However, Longo taking it with a very safe and well placed dash attack. That could have crossed up. It was just very well done. It's one of those ones. He he had the faith that there wasn't going to be a neutral B with armor coming out, and he went all in. Wow. Yeah. Very well done from both of them. So this is a very interesting. <laughs> this is this like? such an intense match. It's just like little back versus anyone. It's just like they're swigging. Yeah, exactly. What I think I'm going to see from DJR, just based on that cheeky grin that I've seen too many times, is, again, a bit more of that boldness, that quick approach. And I think he's just going to try and really overpower Longo this time. Well, I think Longo just kind of changed up his disadvantage just enough to get out of things for free and changed his timing slightly. So if DJR can catch on to one of those things, even if it's not all of them, it will just be such a massive swing for him. Because Little Mac likes some of those heavyweights. Um, exactly. He just... When he gets that one weed, that one strong hit, that's all it takes sometimes. Um, so, but 
now the ledge, however, but again, another really, really well placed side B to get out. Now, and this KO punch could be a decider of the game because clawing back a lead from Mac is <laughs> horrid. You, you never want to have to come into Mac. Very, very close KO punch, but Mongo is facing around it really well. Oh, that forward smash. Not facing around that so roll, strong. Though, so. It's got a bit of ground to make up, but it's not too bad. And again, those pivot grabs really just tricking DJR out with his movement. Uh, I don't know quite what Mac does to like get around that pivot grab. Maybe you make it whiff and dash in, but I don't know if you'd get punished. I feel like you just kind of have to respect it sometimes, and you don't want to have to respect such a large area. Exactly. And again, oh. DI on that dash attack, just a tiny bit off. It's one of those ones that sends it a surprisingly high angle, like a cloud dash attack, a Pikachu dash attack. It's also sort of surprisingly fast. When they just throw out that dash attack, sometimes you get caught holding in the mission approaching, so it, exactly. it, it can kill so easily. Um, it's, it's such a good piece of Samus Rock, Paper, Scissors. Charge shot catching you, jumping forward air, and then just raw dash attack catching you running in. Exactly. DJR with a really, really nice empty hold there. Like it's the little things that are getting him this damage. And like that, that, that tech back. chase was so clean. Um, he, he, he did the little weave to catch Longo in place. And that counter! He, he's feeling himself. He really, really is. If one of these smash attacks he's like finding actually lands, he that does continue straight away. to roll in on these tech chases though, and that could be his demise. I think the thing about those tech chases in earlier games, if he misses the tech, once he's down, Longo's charging the charge shot. Yeah. On reaction to you moving at all, he throws it out, it catches roll in, roll away, and um, like get up attack. So once you've missed the attack against Samus charging charge shot, you're kind of stuck sometimes. Um, but. Ooh, ooh. And that dash attack once again. That dash attack has been such a money maker for Longo in this set. Once he's started finding it, he's, he's just finding these stocks. But still a very close game. If he'd managed to catch that air dodge platform with say and up B and got the stock, I think it definitely could have been his game to take back. But if he lets Longo slowly start doing the Samus things, he's going to take so much damage before he gets the stock off. Definitely. And that's that roll in again. I think Longo's really got his number off those roll -ins. It's the charge shot, the charging it, the using it to catch these missed techs, using it to catch um, DJR moving in neutral. It's so critical. Just really here. Oh, oh, very, very close moves. Uh, I feel like it's going to be quite the uphill fi uh, fight for DJR to find the stock, even if he gets this first one. He understood that there was a pivot grab coming up, but still wasn't able to intercept properly. DJR with the consistent teabag, he doesn't really mind what percent he's at. There's that air dodge in. I mean, to be fair, if he can get two or three hits and get a KO punch, he could win this. One, one air dodge reach. You know, maybe he's been saving the air dodge read for this last stock when exactly. he gets the KO punch. Because this is looking like high percent. Ah. Such really a close, close game though. There. DGR really putting in the work. Really, really well played by both of those players. Longo showing the, his ability to adapt and DJR showing his boldness in that matchup. Oh, definitely. And now, I'm not actually sure how we have next on stream. It's going to be an interesting one. I hope yeah, I'm well. there to witness it. I'm hoping it's not me. <laughs> I hope it's not me. I play so badly on stream every time. <laughs> oh, it is you, you jinxed yourself, my guy. Oh. I'll see you people later. So we've got Manny and Ben coming up, two of our... Uh, Meltdown's regulars. Um, be very interesting to see how the Wii Fit um, Ness matchup goes. These two, I think, have played a few times. Um, both very, very strong players. So. Hello. Hey, yo. How's it going, man? Not too bad, we had such an intense game of Longo versus DJR, so I, I think these two are going to do just as intense of a game. Um, mm. Ben always plays in a very aggressive and down style, and Manny is very much uh, a slow player, but with such interesting ways of playing neutral, and the way he uses ball, he just he throws the Wii Fit side B out and says... God will choose who gets hit. <laughs> he has before straight up said, in the Steve matchup, I will throw out side B 
I'd say God can choose who gets it. That's disgusting, wow. <laughs> Which I think is a very wee fit thing to do, you know. I'll, I'll kill you at 40 if I get deep breathing off. If not, I'm just going to throw out the soccer ball, see who gets it. Um, so. And is this other guy a Ness, right? Yes. So, uh, two consistent players who are often making top eights at Meltdown, so. Mm. That promises to be a very uh, high level game. Because uh, this is my second time here. Ah. So. Manny doesn't show up too, too often to Meltdown, but Ben, since he's been coming the last two months or so, very consistently been making the top eight, very good player. Uh, and Manny, when he shows up at Stratford, when he shows up here, when he's free, he does some amazing plays here. The Wii Fit is truly, it, it's sometimes very clinical, uh, the way he plays Wii Fit. Um, he, he is as likely to three-stock you over seven minutes as to narrowly scrape out a win. Uh, he's that kind of player where if he has a way to slowly beat you down and he knows he can just like beat you because there's a hole in your game plan, Manny will just sit there and exploit it. It's such a such an annoying thing to face, but it's also so good. Uh, and I have nothing but respect for him and how he does it. Because um, he does have the crazy Wii Fit combos, but he also just says, I can sit on ledge. Uh, approach me if you dare. <laughs> Which, the Wii Fit players, when they're off stage, it's a bait, don't go off. Sure. Never go off. Sure. <laughs> um, but you mentioned something about Stratford. Mm. Is that another one? So on Wednesdays, uh, every other week at Stratford, there's the skate bar. Um, oh. So 32 player one, slightly more than here. It's nice. Um, but it, it's. You go to that one as well? I, I go to Stratford when it's on. Um, it's nice. Uh, some of the TVs are a bit weird on walls and stuff. Um, uh, it's not as nice, but it's definitely a good place to get a lot of good games. And I have just been called, so I will leave this game you, to man. you. Good luck in your game. Thank you. And I'm alone. Let me see if I can get someone else. Hop on with me. I didn't see who won the rock paper scissors, but probably doesn't matter. So I'm changing the song. I go tag with the go. So a Ness versus a Wii Fit. A good Wii Fit is very scary. 2-1. Zelda, okay. So he's not Wii Fit. Yeah, he's a really good Zelda, okay. Three, two, I know there's another Zelda player as well, but I don't think he says that. Is he a Maybe. He's going to Wii Fit? Is winners round three, so we're still in the best of threes. We still have good games. Just like that, hovering right above your shield. 
There's a lot of Ness players here. <laughs> okay, we have a very seasoned commentator coming on now. Just getting set up. Hello? Hello. Welcome, welcome. Hello. What's your name, man? My name is Teo, bro. Nice. What's your name? What's your name? My name is Toast, bro. Oh, oh, we're doing. Um... <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Is it just me or is this TV really bright? Yeah. The table in the front is gone. Oh, beautiful Zelda. That's so nice when they hit that. Yeah. The upbeat is like so strong sometimes. It's so cool when they do like uh, the ledge cancels with the upbeat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope we see some of So far, Zelda in the lead. Oh, Manny, let me use that. Name. Wow. That's beautifully weaving in. Ooh, Ness having a hard time hitting. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Unfortunately. Let's see if that was possible awesome again. Wow, beautiful spike. No jump. Oh. That bug perfectly. And these upbeats are really interesting. Yeah. See how he like uses it and just like goes to the other side of the stage. Mm. How did your uh, games go? Uh, um, I lost twice. I got really like I got clipped on by uh, Captain Falcon from like knee knee and then up smash off ledge like. Uh, no. They should really buff Piranha Plant to be honest. Was that? Was that Ness? Forward tail? Yeah, forward tail. Yeah. Wow. There's a lot of Nesses at this tournament. It's like three or four, right? Yeah. So many sword characters as well. Yeah. As expected. Yeah. Oh, wow. wow. Sick ledge guard. The Zelda new should be really catching. Yeah. These down smashes from Manny have been insane. Oh my goodness. Oh, unfortunate. Blocked the um, PK rocket with the... Was that Saibi? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I think it's called like... It's not Hollow Knight, it's... Uh, mm. Damn, what's the name? Phantom Knight, I think? Phantom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think that's it. It's pretty scary in game. Word. And then mix up potential with it, it's crazy. Yeah. I need to learn like more of the um, stages and stuff. I've just always gone to PS2. What? I've always just gone to PS2. Really? Yeah. Go to. Go to That's stage. stage. <laughs> Let's see if Bez can adapt. Coming into game two. Twenty-one percent. Very tricky to get anything started on Zelda. Yeah. Know that neutral B, that night. A lot trying to get. Let's see if Bez can figure out where to get. In. Ledge guard from Manny is really good. Got that jab one into a grab, yeah. crazy. Nice Yeah. Bez to stay alive with that. Ooh. Ooh. Damn. Well, how long were you uh, commentating last time? Two hours. <laughs> Two hours. <laughs> Oh, oh unfortunate SD. Wow. He's got follow-ups for everything. Always ready. 
Bro is prepared. Bear's making this matchup look impossible for Nasty. He's the man. Oh, another one. Bear's sneaking in with a backer. I think so much of it is that neutral B, like, yeah. completely countering that PK fire. Yeah, considering, like, Ness's, like, most of his attacks are, you know, projectiles. Yeah. Let's see if he can make it back. Gets the ledge. Oh, uh oh. We're no longer having time to go to though. Oh. oh! Ooh! That was nearly crazy! That was good. Purposely going off route. That was chaotic. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> oh. Both on their last stock. Yeah. Pretty tight for Bez, though. Oh, I love those ledge cancels. Yeah, Zelda and Palutene, so, like, it's still fun to watch. For sure. And Mewtwo as well. Bro. Yeah. I don't think there's any Mewtwo's at this. Uh, mm, I haven't seen one. Right. Even last time I was here. Yeah. Was here. There's lots of Zeldas, Kazuya's, like Nessus. Yeah. Have you seen the Lil Mac? No? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you did? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, beautiful up there, drag down. Oh, nice. Bear's taking it with the down smash. Perfect ledge trap. Yeah. I hate that ledge trap. <laughs> I hate it so much. Word. Bears clutching that game up, even with the SD. Yeah. Do you know when uh, friendly start? Um, around like the brackets, I guess, like eliminations. Because I think one yeah, friendly like start. One or two more rounds. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. I think once friendly start, I'm going to be swapping out with the commentator that was here two weeks ago. Anyone in the stream? Was it remembers. two weeks ago? I think, I think so, yeah, right? Three weeks ago. Was it three? Yeah, web, uh, February 20th. That's that's oh, one. Yeah. Oh, three weeks then. Oh, I see. Hollow Bastion. Ooh. It's a Ness's turn to ledge guard. It's so tricky to hit a Zelda here with yeah. a fear of us. Ultra Viz. Ooh, wow. Best trying to catch money with the um, side people. Yeah, money's so good with like placing the Phantom Knight and then he just. He just controls that space yeah. and then he just follows up with whatever comes. All set. I think it's a testament to Bez's adaptability to be able yes, to yeah. take a game in this matchup because it's very difficult. Yeah, I can't like he, sometimes he's swinging on swing like <laughs> beautiful recovery. Just missing Zelda. Perfect. See the ledge trap. Doesn't really work. Oh, dash attack, dash attack almost kills. And wow, what's up? And Bez is up. 
Is that fair? Yes, I think so. Yeah, Bez is adapting. For real. I think it's crazy because once Bez gets in, then he can just uh, blow Manny up. But yeah. getting in is a difficult part. Just as we're seeing here, once he's in, he can really do everyone. Good ledge call. Let's see if Manny can keep him out. Beautiful option by Manny to go aggressively onto Sage. Oh! Beautiful timing by Manny. That was crazy. <laughs> Zelda Spike, one of the nicest to hit. Yeah. Zelda's up smash, uh, I mean, up special is like. Really big. Yeah. That neutral B. It's crazy that Bez is somehow up. Oh, man, he's mad. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's playing rough right now. Getting low. Ooh. Is that true? Yeah, I think really? so. Yeah. Really good out shield option. Damn. Let's see if Bez can close this out. Well, Manny will. Keep him out. Oh, Manny's playing careful here. Incredible footsies. Oh. Roy moment. Manny can make it back. Uh, Living the back here almost kills. <laughs> oh. Oh. No tag. Untackable. Damn. Is it? Nice percent. Yeah. yeah. Bez adapting beautifully, finding his way in. I really thought Manny was gonna win with the um, first game because like. Do another one. Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do another one. Yo! Ow. Oh How God. you doing, Dog Sucker? I'm pretty good, I'm pretty we good. We just played our oh. set. I know. And now commentating together. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's cool, it's cool, man. Yeah, we, that's the vibe. It's we the are vibe. back on the mic. <laughs> yep. We've yeah. commentated before uh, together. It was at... I know which event it is. It's at the top of my head. It's the one Red Bull one. Yes! Um, front, front runners, runners. Front yeah, runners. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. like thinking... Was it frontrunners? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was. <laughs> but it was for like one match. We barely got to do anything and then I got called up. And then I had to first a bonnet and then I lost! Mo oh yeah, I commentated yeah. that. Yeah. I like com I love commentating your sets because it's always very entertaining and easy to commentate because mm -hmm. it's like, exactly. I just have to shout you have to every talk time about you do something. <laughs> the hectic stuff that goes on in the set is yeah. really funny. <laughs> yeah, honestly. <laughs> what are you going to do? A crack shoot? It's very entertaining. But yes. <laughs> oh. Wait. Oh yeah, the commentating when you went to France, that was also really funny. <laughs> yes, I bro, I can't wait to do it again. Yeah, like, it's honestly, gonna be I, so funny. 
I'm gonna be over there for like two weeks. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be there I for saw like, um, about that. Yeah, I'm gonna be there for two weeks. That's gotta from be April much. 3rd all the way till like, I believe the 15th. That's when I'm gonna be coming back. That sounds good. That yeah, sounds fun. just like a whole ass day of just, well, whole ass two weeks of grinding. Yeah. Basically. I know because you've been, uh, you took like a break, right? Yeah. For a while. And this is like you getting back into it and going to France where yeah, there's like lots of out locals. Yeah. That's a really good way to start. Yeah, basically making my name going out like going out there because that was one of my goals for yeah. this year to just travel more. Yeah. Cause like after UFA I was like, yo, I need more of this experience. I need more of like time to actually like um adjust to new playstyles and such. Yeah. Yeah. And like not just the same local sometimes it can get a bit yeah, repetitive. It gets mundane. So I wanted to expand more yeah. outside of my region. And you know, what else to do other than to go to my enemies' ca countries? <laughs> <laughs> Invasion. Mm -hmm. uh, Truly an invasion. Yeah. Are you going to that, by the way? If I'm what? Uh, invasion. Invasion. Oh, I'm not sure yet. Uh, I'm not sure. Still yeah, deciding. I ain't gonna be there because two weeks. Oh, but like, anywho, we yeah. got Kazuya Mishima versus Streaks, my yeah. goat. It's gonna be great. Yeah, I haven't seen these guys play in a hot minute. I know Pick won the last time. But that was like a really high stake match when they were play when he oh. was playing Kazuya. Oh, sixty four percent! This is starting completely differently from oh. what I remember. As he takes sixty four percent just from those upper strings, coming in clutch with the jumping nares into a conversion Holy off shit. of the drag down into oh, mix. Oh, is nice so parry from him, man. to get that aggression off of him. But now he yeah. has to like get out of that nice jump, nice electric. Oh my god, the reset! Holy and that's a shit. kill! Okay! Is, all right, all right, Pick. Oh, we see it. you, we see you. Covering all options like that. I yeah, see you, bro. Huh? In the hit in the lab. Kazuya yeah. Mishima. Kazuya Mishima. I think the last time he played, um, like, Street specifically played a Kazuya was, um, yeah. what was it? Re not Regent. Uh, New Era 3. New Era 3? Oh, I yeah, see. Yeah, against Mizzens. Really high stake game. Wow. Where Streaks so. almost popped off. <laughs> He got Wait. out of the seat and he just like popped off. Damn. I mean, you can oh never underestimate. Oh my god, he got the reset on the platform? Okay, okay. You, you can never underestimate Kazuya. Bro, even I haven't got that down properly. Yeah. Like, it's inconsistent. So, if I wanted to go for like the crouch jabs, it's pretty easy, but like uh, anything yeah. else is like harder for me. We just saw Riddles winning, uh. Yeah, collision. Winning collision as well, yeah. So, never underestimate Kazuya, honestly. Exactly. Kazuya's just. Putting the work, man. Nowadays. It's Susie's character, though. Yeah, definitely. I think it's way better of a pick for him. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, the if he was like rather like low tier or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would not look nice on him. Oh, okay. Not unlike that combo. Just God like damn. That. All right, nice. nice. Yes, back the lead at despite it. the beginning. Yeah, like I'm surprised pick is cooking like this, man. Yeah. Wow. But we did see streaks versus T, and that went pretty uh -oh, well that's for him. It. I don't know why he did the side B. Uh, it must have been a misinput. Yeah, but he's like, not happy with that one. Still, still pretty even, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah. yeah Streaks has to play very much like... Very careful. Yeah, because he can't jump in as freely as he f would be doing against yeah. other like characters. You see him trying to wait and for him to do something, yeah, just and then just whiff punishing. punishing, that's the whole game. Exactly, it's so crucial. Like, yeah. Kazi is one of the kings of whiff punishing, but yo, he can't not get whiff punished himself. Yeah. Otherwise, he gets taken up to a 60%. Yeah, and from, like, Fox is just versions. utilizing yes. that as much as possible. Yeah. Clean, clean wave dashing. The wave, wave will come in. Oh my god, he's oh, going he for wanted to finish it. He just loves going for that reset. Yeah, for sure. Yep. See what throws. he does? Yeah, up throw. It's such a good, like, little way of telling how your opponent's, like, choosing their options. Yeah. Okay, nice. Oh, he tries to go for oh, up tilt. He's, he's waiting. Yeah. He's patient. Yeah. yeah, you shouldn't have heard it. That I there. love Streak's patience in advantage. And you see a lot of Fox would have just went for the up air. Streak's is a different Fox. He does not chase unless he knows. He, he, he's collecting download. He's just downloading yeah. at this point. Yeah. He's like a mean robot. Yeah, exactly, man. Yeah. He's a machine. This yeah, guy man. is built different. He is built different. Coming from what? He is that guy. He is the guy. Look at him. Look at his emotions, bro. Dude, he's just like staring you down. He's like, bro, I'm going to hit you with this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do it right. Uh. All right, as we go right back into the next game. And uh, okay. Basic no neutral, one basic neutral. Each other yet. doesn't swing, but streak swings first. Not our character, but like pretty oh. 
Oh, Last what is way? he cooking okay. here? That's cute. He that was is cute. cooking. Look at that. 83%? Holy Already halfway shit. done. Just from one interaction. And now he's at kill percent. Oh, oh my god, he almost caught the drift. But oh wow, oh, cool. he's up beam. Yeah, frame ten can't really do anything that about that. That was so quick. Yeah, frame ten like up B. Gonna be coming out really like clutch. Okay, nice. Oh my god, it pushed him off. Yeah, that's really tough. That's when you go for crouch jabs. Yeah. Because if you know it's gonna like send him off off the platform, you should yeah. just like go for crouch jabs. For sure. That it was too close to the edge. Oh, that could have been it. Ooh. Trying to pull out to go for an air into down air potentially, but nothing can stop streaks from just pushing his disadvantage. Okay, he's playing around him. Look at him go. The movement. This is what the thing I really love about him. Yeah. He has the cleanest movement out of anyone in the UK, man. Yeah. Easily free. I mean, we know streaks has been in the scene for a very long time. Yes, yeah, so in Smash 4, baby. Oh, yeah, he's trying to he go for electric Fox again. Yeah, he was Smash 4 as well, right? Oh no, he actually played like Mario. Oh. Mario, Peach. Huh. Yeah, back in Smash 4. He didn't really play Fox. The transition, interesting, yeah. yeah. I mean, both of them Different two... Different blow up. Oh, almost killed. He always pretends to, to, <laughs> that character doesn't exist. And wow, yes, that's it. That's definitely it. Good stall. Can he add on back? Yes, and he can... Oh, wow, he goes oh. for it. All right, good retaliation to, like, try and get any form of pressure away from him. Yeah. At this crucial moment, he's just... Look, he's just waiting for him. Okay. Yeah. Now... This is the kind of if pressure anyone knows, that is uh, This is necessary. how you play against Kazuya. Yeah. Just not jumping in. Only when you know he's just going to just sit there and hold that. Because Streaks yeah. understands that he needs to be very controlled and composed playing against Kazuya. Yeah, look at him go. Yep. Oh, okay. No, he was going to grab. Oh, oh, no way. He didn't drop that. He dropped that again. Okay. Tries to go to the electric, but that got whiff punished like crazy. Just yeah. a one electric whiff. Those things are so crucial. Oh, that's it. Fox is like... Oh, way pick, please. Oh, he can do it. He's good. Oh, oh, get him. Okay. Oh, that's this it. Is it. This is that. That's yeah, it. That's okay, it. now he can light. potentially reversal this. Yeah. But Rage Kazuya is not really a good character. I'm not going to lie. He get he goes a bit down on the tier list. Because of... Yeah, that's it. Oh, what? He goes down on the tier list. Because the Rage basically does not help him at all. Oh, shit. Reset? <gasps> no, he... I knew he wanted to go for that reset. Oh. Because he knows nothing's guaranteed and that's it, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, that's yeah, it. He knows anything he does wouldn't be guaranteed from yeah. that. Because the electric will launch too far up yeah. to actually get any, like, real conversions, like, nair or resets from, like, um, up air or anything. Yeah. He only gets, like, stray hits. Yeah. But that was unfortunate. Because I, I, I like the idea, but I think he yeah. just, like, messed up the execution for it. Yeah. Because he was wave dashing forwards instead of like um, basically canceling it and then doing um, the crouch yeah, like the crouching um, dragon. I forgot what it's called. Yeah. I only know it as a Tekken like input. You know, <laughs> crouching too. Well, but like from what you're telling too, me, I, mean, I can tell that yeah. Kazuya is a very persistent character and yes. ta takes a lot of persistency. So very I think similar. people who are like saying that Riddles didn't really deserve the win or Kazuya this and Kazuya that. Not anyone can do that. Nope. It takes so much time and effort. There's so many different circumstances that a player needs to be in uh, in order to get actually those yeah, combos that Kazuya that, gets. Like, sort of like game plan of just like, you get advantage and you die. Yeah. Most yeah. Kazuya can't even do like simple like 50-50 combos. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And it really depends on percentage, which part of the stage you're at. Yep. They're DI and yep. there's so many different Platforms. things. You really yep. can't uh, undermine Riddle's skill with Kazuya and exactly. how much time and effort he puts in and it's very clear for sure yeah. But that was a really good fat. Oh, we got William Belay. William Belay. Oh, I see you. I see you right there <laughs> I love this guy. I love this guy. Yep, the MVP You have like a 5-0 record against him? Hey, that's not as bad as Robbie, okay? <laughs> he, he's doing better than Robbie right now. <laughs> oh, no. He's, cl he's getting close. He's getting close. Yeah, he's getting there. He's definitely improving very rapidly. You know, making a name for himself. He's one of the chaps. Exactly, man. The chap. Yep. Oh, man. <laughs> he looks so happy. Look at he's him playing as Reptile. Yeah. Who does Reptile play? Uh, what's that? Who does Reptile play? Who does he play? Yeah. The only Reptile in this game. Well, real reptile, the dinosaur. Oh. Yoshi. Yeah. <laughs> how is that for? How is that for Shulk? 
For Shulk, it could be like very much like even, I would believe, because of like of um Yoshi armor going blowing through any of like um Shulk's attacks. It doesn't yeah. really break the armor. I think Buster does when he actually activates it, like Buster down and fair. Yeah. Potentially. But not too sure how the matchup would probably go. Because both players have their own little flow charts how they like to go against against each other. Yeah. Yeah. More <laughs> reptile than um <laughs> V-Lad, but like yes. Yeah. Hopefully we can see like um them do pretty well, perform really well from here. Yeah. Out, yeah. yeah. I think these two have played each other before and uh I yeah, think I, I can can be can be quite annoying for uh Shulk. I think it can. There was eggs. <laughs> Excuse me. Where is Reptile anyway? He's TOing. Remember, oh, if there's no TO there, they can't really do much. They can't really play. Oh, damn. But I think he's getting everything set up right now, but. Oh, well. Yeah. Bro's gonna be TOing mid set. Pause it and then TOing. <laughs> exactly. But I was doing that at lab, so. <laughs> oh. Adding results because I was like the only one there, really. Wait, were you the only TO at no, lab? No, no, no. Um, so we had Scuttles. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's also a TO on. Um, with Resurgence now, yeah. as you know, Robbie's doing whatever the hell he wants to do, and also Super's out. So, we're just Wait, taking over for now. Oh, uh, Super! Super? Yeah. Oh, why? Because he's gone, he's gone. What do you mean? He's in Brum! Oh! Yeah, he's not coming back for a while, dude. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's why, he get, that's why I'm running it. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. That's why I'm seeing you on there every time. Exactly. Shout outs, shout outs. You, you guys gotta turn up. You guys gotta turn go up. Go to counter attack. Go to counter attack. If you live like in America or something, go anyway. Exactly. Why not? We had an American, anyways. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we had one. Um, John. Yeah, it was John Marsh. Yeah, John Marsh. He was I from lo Georgia. We love John. Yeah. John, come John, back. John, come back, bro. You better come back here. He was, he, I, I asked him if he, if he wanted to come here, but he said, oh, he's flying out like tonight. I was like, Oh. Not tonight or tomorrow. I was like, God damn I it! See. Yeah, he wanted to spend his final moments playing Smashy yeah. Bros. At bro, lab. he was sleeping on us, bro. He said like a lot of the people from America really sleep on Europe. Yeah, they really think the only good players are literally Gluto, Bloom, and Siskui. Nah, man, nah. But the thing is, like, those players are in our region, so we play with them. Yeah. And we learn from them. Yeah. You get me? Like, yeah, exactly. Especially Bloom, like, he coaches, like, a lot of top players there. Like, he gives them advice and stuff like that. And I've, I've seen them, like, improve based off of him. And yeah. it's just within mm. time for them to uh, actually go outside of their regions, you know? Exactly, and explore. Yeah, yeah. Like, like we literally saw streaks uh, against T and E. He destroyed so him on FD! Yes! Unheard of! In exactly. the Kazuya matchup. Yeah. Right? If you're winning on that matchup, on FD, against the best one in the world? Yeah. One of the best in the world? Bro, you gotta rethink your life. Yeah, you gotta rethink uh, how skilled UK yeah, is and is, Europe. Exactly. We're but like a humble rock yeah. in the ocean yeah. of like... Giant boulders. Yeah. But we are a tough cookie, bro. We're, For we're, sure. We're tough. For sure. We, t we take it on our chin, you know. We're grinding. We're grinding. Exactly. We got Monday we're meltdown ruthless. over here. Exactly. Exactly, bro. We come out, we show up. Yeah. Yeah. And we back it up. <laughs> Speaking from Love facts. Rhymes. Yeah. We, we always back it up. <laughs> All right. Um, let's continue. He's gonna put that we're theme going on. to PS2, yeah. the land and true. He's feeling himself. I can see it. I can see Blade feeling himself. He's like, mm -hmm. yep. All right. Okay. Okay. Here As we go. As we begin. These two players are very good. My very money's good on Pilar. Please, <laughs> please win. Be the Yoshi. <laughs> this guy, he's, he's gonna come and swing and exactly oh, with the egg rolls! What that, that's the thing fuck? I was gonna about to say. This guy loves his unorthodox egg rolls. In neutral, uh, he does not care. He but... will just swing. That's the round start. He says, okay, I'm gonna throw this out. I, do you think you can challenge this move? If you don't, then that's on you. 
I take you take 23 no 28 percent it's easy considered his worst move and then he just throws it out at the very beginning of the match like yeah. I blinked and he's on the other side rolling he's already swinging yeah yeah, yeah both players will swing out as man to try and like retaliate oh, oh that broke the armor by the way Damn. that's one of the moves that breaks it yeah oh uh oh wow Pelé just stood there yeah bro that grab is garbage what what is he doing he sit he stood there oh wow oh almost pulled shield. out the jump oh that's oh oh that's not gonna PI. do anything yeah yeah he ain't gonna do anything but guess about that horrible situation where he would have gone anti-ed and probably died off the top yeah from di okay okay he comes nice, out swinging nice. again the right. reversals from go speed out of um, run advantage. nice the thing he needs to look out for is how Reptile's swinging at him. How yeah. he's going out there to try and like edge guard him. Because he always goes in like after his shield gets hit. He yeah. does not sit there. Yeah. He's... It's like he's not very patient. Yeah, he does not play patiently. He likes finishing things quickly. Oh, yeah. okay. Nice up air. Rising up air is like a really solid move. Yeah. From this advantage as well. Nice up B. It combos into itself like tremendously. Yeah. Okay. It's one of the better up Bs for sure. Okay, now he has to control the patience of Oh, the he game was here. very patient there against the Smash art. Okay. He's playing very well against Smash art. Egg roll, right? egg roll mix! What's the mix? What's the mix? He's mixing something up. Anytime I see that move, I'm always like, what's the mix? <laughs> Cause I want to see some egg rolls, man. <laughs> and he's gonna yeah. eat them up and serve them on a platter. As you see here, here we go. Oh, oh, wow! The reversal. Yeah, we like him trying to go for fair. Yeah. So he turns up with his own. With his own aggression. Yep. Oh, nice parry. Okay. Oh, he wanted it. He wanted oh, it. Oh, goes for the cross up on the net, bro. Wow, that's an FTC cross up right there, yeah. man. That's like a Akuma fireball into mix like with a dive kick or something that's crazy yeah but now he has to like cover this airspace much more effectively or else a b-lad gets in with a swing oh, of his own a, this can go bad yeah, this for is very reptile. bad hit oh 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 yeah oh. Shield poke. you gotta do something you yeah. gotta move can't be sitting there for 30 frames baby oh okay nice sue all right Oh, that's a lot of Got damage. It. Yeah, uh, by itself, that move does like 30 on your shield, 35 yeah, or something. Yeah, 32, yeah. That's it's insane. Crazy. That's not even the intention of the move. Yeah. Just each shield does everything. It even combos into itself. Yoshi has gotten higher and higher on the tier list as time has gone. Yeah, like, have you seen that Japanese um, Yoshi player? Yoshi Dora, I think? Yeah, Yoshi, Yoshi Dora? Dora. Yeah. It's wow. really good. Yeah. That character is showing up so much more often now. Yeah. But I still think he's baby mode. Oh? Oh. That was pretty clean. Oh my god. Oh, I thought he lost his jump. <laughs> I always thought that bro broke his armor. Yeah. He was Buster, but I didn't know. Uh -oh. oh. Tries to go for up smash three. Nice parry. Trying to catch something with potential parry bait. Jumps over to try and go for a reversal of his own. He likes controlling the center stage with that nair. Just this aerial oppression. Yeah. Covering the ledge, covering the just like general space. He's really good at keeping oh, oh, the good. stage control. Okay, good, good block. And now he cannot shield for now. Okay, he comes in swinging again. Oh. He rolls in twice, and he gets the up nice. there. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Cleaning it up. That. No, you can't throw those eggs at me anymore. Wait, did he up here after he yeah. jumped? Yeah, he did it. He did it after. Oh, I see. Yeah, he caught in the drift. Yeah, I was wondering, like, was there no uh, double jump armor? Nah, he, did, he only did up B. That's it. Oh, oh I see. Yeah, he only did up B. So, and that wouldn't have worked. Belay just made the most out of it. Yeah, dude. I was going to say as well, bro, you know Yoshi's eggs, right? Yeah. Bro. Do you know, like in those old cartoons where they would just be throwing sh like stuff over the fence? Yeah. That's yeah. that's this, this character. That's <laughs> just, just that annoying kid just throwing like stuff at like 
I yeah. don't want to swear, but like just throwing stuff at like um <laughs> over the fence. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, oh wait, stop going over my lawn. <laughs> annoying kids. Bro, Yoshi is that annoying neighbor. Exactly. Yoshi man. is that annoying kid. Just even in the cartoons, but even like in game, it, it's pretty annoying <laughs> to play against. He's very just much a pestering character. As he goes in with this just like general game plan, it's just like swinging at you and you can't do much about it. Yeah. And how like safe they are. It's like, oh wow, that's it. Oh nice. yeah. He's cleaning up with yeah. that smash at ledge. That'll do it. Mm -hmm. And it gives him so much momentum, so he can, he can, he can just escape. He can yeah. do whatever he wants. He can just jump around, you know, have his fun. Yep. So he's just playing around him so effectively. Reptile does Rain he... trap into down air. Coming in clutch, doing 46%, but nothing just yet. We can just see how he goes for it. Uh, up smash read? Okay, he's a bit too confident. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's been doing those up smashes a bit too much here. Bro, he does it way more than I expect. Yeah. Like, Robbie doesn't do it. Oh, oh nice, yeah. uh, that was that's nice. It. This, that, that's it. Broke the armor and then yeah, that's it. The most There's nothing to do. Shit. Yeah, that's the Yoshi moment right there. Oh. Good DI in to avoid going off stage. Backslash. Oh, you're just trying to make it back safely. Yep. Using shield. Yeah, I ain't gonna break the armor. Yep, catch it to retaliation. Just holding the center. Oh, oh, oh that's the armor. Could have been very scary. Uh, oh my god! Yeah, nice. the off smash is pretty nice there. Cleaning it up. Just, just effectively, just like. Oh, playing him right there. Yeah. Knowing he was just gonna swing out of disadvantage. That with the throw net. was 24% with Buster. That's crazy. Yeah, he knew the active frames for it, of it was just done, so he just went for it. Yeah. The Reptile does pump. seem pretty aware of uh, this matchup for sure. Definitely. He's just continuously just like throwing out hitboxes in that general like position. And it's just like working so well in its favor right now. Yeah. But okay, nice down oh, smash. Nice down smash here. Yeah, yeah, he's the only boxes. guy I know who does that. Yeah. Robbie does never. He, he would never. Robbie never. Yeah. Down smash again. Robbie, take some notes. Exactly. Take some notes, man. The William Blade. William Blade. Here he comes. Come on, Blade. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh the Blade. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Oh, the egg roll to his doom. His last tug. Oh, he's right. chill darting. He does not want to die. Okay, and he make makes the most out of it. Oh, this is dangerous. Ghostbuster this makes is the very most dangerous out of it. because he's. Anytime he's. Oh, yeah, that's oh, yeah, it. Yeah, that's that's a guaranteed it. hit confirm yep. from the egg. Damn. That was pretty clutch. He was almost making a comeback, but like. Yeah. He barely clutched it out by doing an air to air with um, up B. Yeah, yeah, that was definitely a read. Because he literally just upbeat upwards and it just. He just goes with it. Yeah, just, just for went flow. for it. Man, Choke does rely on. Uh, does rely on jumping a lot, so that makes sense. Yeah, because all of his frame there on the ground is very mediocre at best. Yeah, yeah. They all rely on him, like, jumping in and then setting up that set play with um, his tilt. Yeah, yeah. And whatnot. And it's difficult when Yoshi is like has a quite a good ground game as well. Yeah, he's got really solid tools. Like yeah. frame two jab, I believe. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's insane. So you can't really scrap with the character. He has like a lot. What's the mix? What's oh, the mix? Yeah. What's the mix? Oh, he's cooking. He's cooking. But what was he cooking? <laughs> Cook it up this damage real quick. Hold up. Throws him back into the corner into a um retaliation with a rising fair. Yeah. Um, comes in with um. He, needs, an air he wants that own. stage control. Okay, okay, and up B like that. Nice. You see you. Yeah, he's just intercepting that range so perfectly well. Not any form of like um aggression coming out of B lab now. Yeah. He's just really much okay. Oh, as soon as oh. I say he gets it bad, oh. and now he gets to push. He's on the right. He's hold on the right. Hold he's on. like, I'll put you through something as well. Oh, going for the up smash again, but. Frame day is not good no, enough, my friend! Uh, it's not too good! Committal. Too committal. It's too committal! He felt himself a bit too much there. I know, right? He comes uh, in swinging! Yeah. And he goes with a down air! And it doesn't do anything. But, alright. Nice. Swings at it. Get all rid of it. All the eggs, him. you know. Uh, trying to cover all I the I don't boxes. know how he's just throwing out those empty shells. 
I, I swear there's like other Yoshis coming out of them. What? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Yoshi, what is this? Yeah. <laughs> oh god, that's, that's some much. very dark scenes I did not want to <laughs> explain. <Yeah. laughs> god damn. We don't want to go into detail to that one. Yeah, exactly. Nintendo might sue me for it. Oh god. Oh, <laughs> uh, the fair comes out too yeah, slow and. Going off. Somehow, really Shulk's well. back here comes out faster than the fair. That's yeah. interesting. Just really good priority on it. Yeah. A lot of his like aerial tools. Now, Belay just needs to be patient here. Yep. He just needs to keep the safe I love control. the drift back. I love because, the drift back. Yeah. Because he's not yeah. like engaging at all, knowing yeah. that if he f commits to his full drift, he will die. Yeah. He will literally yeah. get reversal, and that's what he wants. And oh, there we go. Like, he okay. gave up too much space, and then he died. Yeah. Yeah, like covering okay. that face super well. Now. Playing patiently here. Yeah, look, now he's holding that. Like, like, he's go so good at Switching holding arts, that. Switching like, arts, bro. Thanos with the Infinity Stones. Ah. Oh, step bro, for step. snap out, 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 out. Get out of here, yes. man. The yes, up sir. smash. He's gone. He got it. He gone. Got negated it. into the stratosphere. Oh, he he knows. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Behind. Come on. Okay, nice. Knowing he would be more, more minus after the shield art was activated. So yeah. now I think he can just like sit pre. He can sit pre yeah. right now. He doesn't have to do it much. Choke with the uh, yeah. advantage is like very good. Yeah, I think it's really good. Yeah. Good he can just sit back and like shield art, you know. Just have his time. Okay. No be like, don't oh. drift away. Bro, you wanna know egg DI? On. Oh. <laughs> oh, I see. He wanted to go for the second one. What was oh, he cooking? He's cooking. <laughs> Bro, what was the mix? Oh, that's always so, such a surprise every time he does it. Yep. Alright, he activates one of his infinity stones now. He got that speed in him. He got that speed in him. Oh, oh. almost goes for the reversal right there, but doesn't work out just quite yet, but you can know he's gonna go for it again. Yeah. And damn right, it will work again. Look, there we go! See? see? He wants it so bad. The back a slash. Yeah, he's nice. trying to do it again, but yeah. Eli's not giving him the opportunities. But oh, now, oh. he's in the air. This and could now be he it. has this to be go. Oh, oh, that's probably it, yeah. That's probably it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Coverage. Nice coverage. Okay. This could still be very possible for Reptile. This could be very deadly. Oh, yeah, oh that's it. okay. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Clean Such a nice down switch air. too. Yeah. Yep. He's, I, I really like the way uh, the late switches to, between arts. It's very entertaining yeah, to watch. Yeah, low percent. It's very worth it for him to just go for that. Yeah. Because like he's not gonna get launched too far, and he's still stuck in lag, and he can switch into any yeah. he wants. Yeah. Then just went for that down air and just yeah. made the most out of it, I guess. Yep. He's really he utilizing what makes Shulk Shulk. Yep, he bust the move. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, we love to see it. Yeah, that was very clean from both players. Mm -hmm. Showing a lot of dominance from center stage from B Lad, but also showing like good reversals, right? Yeah. From Reptile. Yeah, yeah. Mad Reptile was both. playing very well too, but yeah. I feel like after game three. After game two, I mean, Belay just understood what had to be done. And he just took that all the way. I'm gonna be on stream. You're gonna yeah. be on stream? Yeah, I'm on stream, my uh, friends. So I'll catch you in the next one. Yeah, man. This is for now, but I'll be right back. Alright. Have a nice one, Dog Stalker. We love Dog Stalker, man. He is our GOAT. He always pulls up to Belay. He, he always pulls up to Meltdown, and we love to see him here. Hey, yo. Hello, hello. How are you doing, man? Not too bad. What's your tag? Uh, Zillan. Zillan? Zillan. Zillan. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm LDR 100. You're what? LDR 100. Oh, nice. Oh, nice yeah. tag. Yeah, so, how's bracket? Oh, I didn't enter. I'm more compare just for the vibe, just to spectate. But yeah, sure. Why not jump on comms? Oh, why not? Why not? It's, it's just a vibe. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. How yeah. about you? Oh, I did play uh, bracket, but it didn't go so well. Happens, happens. I actually played against Belade, who's si sitting right here. Okay. And, uh, they currently won their set against Reptile as well. Oh no, not Belade, I mean Dark Stalker. Dark Stalker? Yeah, I meant Dark Stalker, my okay, bad. Okay. My bad. Uh, Do you that's a, that's a, wait, round one? Uh, round two. Round two, that's a rough round two. Yeah, yeah. Damn. But it was fun though, it was fun. Uh, Cloud Cloud Terry is a bit fun because it's a lot about like whiff punishing and mm. things like that. 
and here we have Zone versus Darkstalker. And we see this, like, I think they've played each other at least, like, too many 30, times. 40 times now. <laughs> they've like, too many times. They might as well, like, move in together soon. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. But we have oh. Zone, the neutral god, versus Darkstalker, the reversal god. Yeah, yeah. Like, if you get a caught slipping against Darkstalker off stage, nah, just man. be like, I have advantage. Oh, where did I go? Yeah, yeah. Crazy. And again, Zone also with the ledge pressure. He puts you in the Ultra Zone, you never escape. Yeah, yeah, Zone is very fundamental. He's He knows what he's doing against Dark Zone. You don't want to get, you Yo, don't get trapped in the Ultra Zone, you, man. ever. Good shit, man. Just, just, don't, just don't, be, don't be stuck in the Ultra Zone. Yeah, the man. Place stuck between a ledge and a hard place. You don't want to be there. Yeah, yeah. But, wait, but, wait, do you want to say something? But Zone's doing the Zone yeah, special sure. where he takes half a year, half a year. Loki, belayed best shock UK. I'm just hey. saying, bro. <laughs> you tell him. You don't, tell him. Don't know, don't know about that one. I am a. Don't know, don't know about that one. I am a belayed supporter, number one fan. We love to see it. Well, belayed was cooking that last set against Reptile. Yeah. I'm more of a Reptile fan myself, but. <laughs> have to give respect where respect is due. Yeah, yeah. You gotta respect both players. Go to hell. Not so good. That's not very nice. That's not very nice. Take that back. Go back. <laughs> he looks so innocent while typing that though. <laughs> Dude, like a little, just Dude like, with a little smile on his face. So. Yeah. <laughs> he's just enjoying himself. But he's telling, go to hell. I think he just doesn't like. Um, Palatina. Well, he plays Terry, but he's not allowed to complain. Yeah, to be fair. You have Goa hundreds. Uh, you saw that riddles Terry? Uh, yeah, last oh, night. Oh, the collision. Uh, I mean, um, yeah, yeah. Collision. I actually didn't, but I know he played Terry. And he was like, oh, did Terry not Kazuya? Bro, it was insane. It Terry, was Terry insane. is clean. Yeah. And Wait. Zone's finally here after a forever. Let's go, Hits Zone. his finger. See, oh, his foot? What is he? <laughs> bro, what is bro doing? What is bro doing? Dark Dog is like, hey yo, what is what is it? <laughs> Zone is like wondering what's happening over here. Bro. Zone, turn around, turn, turn around. around. Don't be wait. Don't you're be holding, you're holding up the bracket. What the hell? Hurry there. Turn Zone, around. we want to see what's happening. Turn Zone, around. Don't turn around. Don't be shy. Turn, turn around. Come. Zone, t t bro, turn does around, he have please. his feet now? What I happened? Don't, I don't know. He's struggling somewhere. All right, but we're, we're gonna get to it. Anyways, soon. Finally, yeah. Finally, yeah. Took and a while. He said like a few minutes ago. He's like, oh, I really want to play, and then he stood it like this. <laughs> oh. What a silly lad. We love Zone though. Mm. A double Z tag. Interesting. Very maybe simple the two, controls maybe the two as well. Zs puts his opponents to sleep. <laughs> Makes it easier to catch them in the ultra zone. As it keeps snaring, the you might as well put down your controller. <laughs> put down the controller, pull yeah. asleep. Do these know? Do these two like just know what stage they want to go and like? Do they even have to speak? I, I don't. Probably not. But you usually see PS2 first. But two yeah, might be a Smash Bros. Who knows what they gonna pick? What are they gonna pick? I guess they're just setting up right now. Darkstalker getting his controller they're, they're out. Set, they've been getting, trying to get set up for who knows how long. Yeah. The setup I just feel like Darkstalker is just plugging in his controller and he was waiting for so long. That is kind of crazy. Oh, he's oh he's charging his AirPods. Oh. Yeah. That's it. That is fair, dude. Zone happens to be ready sooner than Dark Sucker. Zone is very ready, actually. Bro is checking himself physically, emotionally, mentally. Fi I said physically. Um, <laughs> They're taking too long. What? Let's get to the kids. Get to the kids. All right, here we go. Here we go. It's time to start. Fist bump. 
in their appreciation, in respect. Yeah. Dark Stalker taking the last two sets, but does this mean that Dark Stalker has a download or has his own adapt yeah. uh, adaptation? Is he gonna get third win in a row? Let's see. But I think in this matchup, Zong's just looking to like kind of with punchy stuff, space him out. Yeah. Like yeah. just trying to stay ahead because being behind against Terry feels super bad, so you have to approach into him. Also keeping being very, very careful of Terry's progression. Yeah, even if you try to stay back and like run around him, the thing is Dark Sog is really good at uh covering a lot of options mm. as well and like <laughs> just maneuvering around with his inputs. Especially pressing lots of buttons to cover these many options. <laughs> he sure is good at pressing buttons. We can, we can all agree on that. Ooh, oh, you just nice kicked him like... <laughs> I actually got to kill you. Oh, damn. Okay. Very early start. Maybe, maybe Dasa does have to download for real. Yeah. But again, this is this is zone. He still has the ultra zone. He has not awakened yet. Yeah. May awaken yeah. the ultra zone even right here. He needs to get ledge. into the zone. Mm. But, but it seems like Dark Soccer is putting him in his own zone. But it is best of three, so we don't have enough time to like get this out of Oh yeah, it is just best of three. What the? Yeah. I just realized this is only winners' quarters. Yes. You usually see these two like Grand semis finals. or grands. Yeah, yeah. We have some big boys in this tournament. Yeah, for some sure. Big hitters. It's and gonna now. be very entertaining. But that's what could just take this time at ledge. I really like ha how. Has he used go yet? I don't, I don't think, think he has. Yeah, yeah. Bro is patient. For, for, waiting. <laughs> for once. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Dark Soccer just taking this Oh, time nice, nice one. Very nice Buster Wolf. Yeah. Can be a very quick burst option, but very risky at the same time. Just yeah. But one, two. And you see, he needs to get off of ledge. But oh, manages Zon to get. Ah. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, Zon really needs that stock, but he, he caught it. He can stop the, maybe stop the bleeding of the second stock. Yeah. And there? Oh, okay. Dark Stalker back at ledge. Ooh, oh, that nice. was over not good. Yeah, over extension. Oh, the back hit of the Nair managed to catch him. The very last back hit, mm. and then he managed to get like seventy percent off of that, or like fifty. Ooh, the jab jab power not taking the stock there. I'm yeah. surprised he took the stock. Just barely. All right, yeah. we love to see Zone waiting and just, but Dark Stalker does not wait. Mm. Zone is waiting, but Dark Stalker just. He just par he just went in just like that. Yeah. He, he just tried to speed run your stock. Oh! He, he tried to dead. spike and you wanted Zone to end it just that. Like he was like, I don't need go. Oh, that was a very good edit by Dark Stalker. But now he's frame trapped into the net. Yeah. And now he has to get off of this ledge. Yeah, and, and he does it with a roll stock. and just makes the most out of it. It's a solid two stop from Dark Stalker. Are you okay? I, feel I like, don't think he is. I feel like with Zone's gameplay, I feel like. He just kept, he wasn't able to keep Dark Soccer out how he wanted to. And yeah. then in falling behind, he was forced to approach. Yeah. And that he just couldn't play the game he wanted to because yeah, of the, the game plan was intent. just not working. No, I don't think the game plan, I think the game plan was working. It's just that because he got into a deficit, yeah. he couldn't effectively play his game plan because he was forced to approach like the whole time yeah. after he fell behind. I also feel like Dark Soccer, like, he's such an experienced player that he knows like all the counter attacks counter picks and counter stuff that uh, counter plans that people try to set against him and he's just aware of how to like go against that mm. basically but even just there the air dodge was very good yeah but again I want to see a bit stronger ledge trapping from zone because that's honestly his strongest point in his game for yeah. and ledge trapping and Terry is known for either. having not the best uh, Disadvantage, so if mm. you're not able to utilize that, it's gonna be very tough for you to win. But Crack Shoot is a huge, huge, huge hitbox, so yeah. even though this is disadvantage is bad, that Crack Shoot is insane. Yeah, for sure. But Zone starts to push his advantage a bit. Let's keep it dice looking at oh, this okay. ledge. Yeah. But He's go but go is online, so the game really starts now. How will Dice oh, effectively use this? Ooh, Zone is jump. doing well. Zone is like he heard us. We're, we're secretly <laughs> coaching him. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Who knows? But yeah, as you see, look at the difference. Zone's just keeping his space now. Yeah. Just trying to play neutral, trying to catch him with him. Yeah. He couldn't do this last game because he was behind, but now he can actually affect his character. But I got caught. And How about it? Dog Soccer follows his tag and says, Go to hell. 
<laughs> just does not care. But yeah, that was the first get up attack. That wasn't like a roll or a jump. He just get up attacked over there. A very nice mix up, yeah. Making the most out of his go. You know, he does not want to die. We know Terry, you know, you want to live as long as you can. So, Ooh. okay. That's that, the second time the that happens. Jump back here to beat the grab. Yeah. Very, very, very nice. Zone is really good with those base too. Like that, I think that's one of his best things, strengths. Oh, 45%. And if he has advantage state here. He can just make the most out of it. Oh, he nice just... Punch the crack shoot. Oh, get a huge really, off of this. Yeah, this is and, huge for Zone. He got caught by the Ultra Zone right there. Bro. That's the Zone special. Yeah, he is in the zone. Oh, damn. That's very close. For that could have been it. I don't I, think it would have died, but it would have been at like 80%. It would have been very, very... Yeah, that would have been very devastating either way. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he downed his arm mm. as he pulled it up. That's insane. But building a platform is kind of dangerous because you can... Oh, move. Buster, whoa. can power guys at that platform, so Zone has to be careful. Yeah. Still find hair. Ooh, very, oh, very, very, very good. nice recovery from Zone. Did you see that? Not grabbing the ledge. Yeah. Potentially to avoid to get in the two points as he's below oh. the ledge. That downer is so silly. He's going to set up the Ultra Zone. Ooh. How do you get past that, that should, wolf? That should not kill. Not and that yet. doesn't kill. Not across stage. That would be a bit too broken. <laughs> it's already broken enough. Please don't. Fighting off the ledge with there. Oh, yeah, that was moment? so cool! Oh, not the trade zone wanted. That train was so cool. They went but, each other's that, that was like Naruto and Sasuke or something. <laughs> <laughs> but took 21% from the final hit of Power Dog. That is insane. Yeah. Dog Soku wants to make the most out of Go. He's mm. like, do something silly. I'm waiting. Go back! Go back. Yeah, in the back air. And he went back to his blast zone. <laughs> Going all the way uh, back to the blast zone. Yeah. yeah they're, they're just playing no one's tool. hitting any. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that was I'm mashy, not, bro. Not too sure what Zone was, was doing his there. nares, and then Dog Circus started up being like, it was getting a bit too much. Like, oh, a little read from Dark Circus. They, they became the worst players in the world for two seconds. Not the best players, the worst. Hey, are they? A little bit, a little bit. But Zone just stayed on his platform, just making to Dark Souls to approach, even though he doesn't have to. He's yeah. Still just wants to get the damage in, end the game. Yeah. But Zone knows if he takes plays it patient, he might be able to bring his back. Nice read on the air dodge. A bit greedy with that second explosive play, but oh. just keep an advantage here. If you could press yeah. advantage a bit more here, yeah. he may, might be able to take stock. Ooh, go for a jump free. Either Dark Soccer it. takes this. Ooh. Oh! Hold on. Wow. So get back to ledge now. Oh, this could this could go either way. That's a bit greedy. Oh, Dark Soaker wants it. He might go for Dark Soaker can guys. just end careful. it right now. He can go go to hell. He can bust the wolf here. That oh, power dog. And that's really it. Smart. Two. And oh, oh for four Dark, Dark Soaker. Okay. For the very first very time, it's not best of five. For like, in this zone, he wasn't able to push his advantage as much as he wanted to. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Well, he did push it quite well, but in game one, he did not. But I feel like he wasn't able to because he lost the lead so quickly. He got hit yeah. by a, a few, he got punished for a few things and yeah. then fell behind. And then after being behind against Terry, who has goal, yeah. he's like pretty heavy. It's hard to actually build that momentum. Yeah, the, the, the dynamic with Terry is like, he, he's such a main character character. <laughs> it's like, a, he does not care about your momentum or like how you feel. He'll just crush it. He's a know? very good snowball only cares about, character. Yeah, he only cares about his momentum. And he's like the main character. He's supposed to win, and uh, we love that. We love the dynamic between Dog Soccer and Terry, and <laughs> you know the relationship they have, for sure. Okay, okay. Two, two main ass characters. Oh, Blade versus uh, what's his tag again? Longo. Longo, the the, uh, the Rob, was, the Rob that we saw yesterday, or not yesterday, Saturday. Tea party, yeah. Tea party, yeah. Uh, ended up losing to Maze Beans and another player, I think. I think it was Bloom. Bloom. It was yeah. Maze Beans and Bloom. Two yeah. <laughs> what placement did he two, get? Two of the best players in the UK, definitely. Yeah. yeah. What placement did he get? He got fourth at T-Party, actually. Fourth? Wow. Yeah. Uh, a, very, a very good show at T-Party, but let's see what he can bring to Meltdown. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I know that some players didn't go to T-Party like Dogstalker and Zone, so... Mm -hmm. 
seeing these two, these three in the same tournament is going to be quite exciting because they weren't together in the uh, mm. in tea party. We will see maybe a few matchups we didn't get to see before. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. We need some international players, uh, some it's new not. European players in, in Mountain. It's always nice when international players come down because yeah, it's very nice seeing a, a new face, getting different people coming down. Yeah, it's always a good time. It's always a good time. Holy shit! Longo is going Rob against uh, Blade, and that's his main, I think. Yeah, he's yeah. played Rob for a very long Bro time. Bro is not playing. Not Bro playing is trying to win. Mm -hmm. He's trying to end it right here. He's trying to go through win his quarters, you know, finish him off. But uh, I think Blade might have forgotten something. Yeah, maybe he just went back, went to the maybe, back. Maybe he's getting his controller. Who knows? Yeah. Maybe he's trying to cosplay zone, taking his time before the set. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> I don't know. Bro is feeling feeling himself. Look at him smiling. <laughs> he's like, I like you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, why did he put it on his forehead? Wait, wait, hold on, what's hold happening? <laughs> he yeah. looks like a... Gonna, what's it called? Gonna need some Avatar character. He doesn't look... <laughs> <laughs> he looks like an Avatar <laughs> character. A little bit, a little bit. But Shulk versus Rob. Both of them are just looking to like play mid-range, but I feel like Shulk just trying to keep Rob at essentially sword length while Rob is trying to like play close and long range while... Shulk I think this is definitely the good for Blade. I can definitely see this being good for Blade. Yeah, I don't know. Rob's a Rob's an absurd character. Yeah. But I guess his big hitbox makes it easier to hit the character. So for sure. And I feel like a character like Shulk can utilize that a lot. Mm. And Shulk can go shield art as well. Like like what he's doing right now. You can see him utilizing the most out of it to the very end. Oh, he already it. smashed. He's trying to get it. That My smash was a bit questionable for sure. No, I feel like if he hit fair and just kept the pressure that way, yeah. that the situation would be very, very different. Yeah, yeah. But going for a jump. Honestly, there. just spam, just spam there. Honestly, like I don't think that'll work with against a pair of Longo's caliber. Definitely find a way through it. I just saw some clip on Twitter where it was like some guy spamming there for a good like two minutes and he won the match. It was <laughs> crazy. Well, speed out there does chain into itself at like the lower percent. I'm not sure about now. Maybe it will. But now he's take the mix up. Oh, go for it. Gets up See, tilt. he switched to shoulder mid combo. Mm -hmm. That is very so good. Very yeah. good. Ooh, oh, got the jump so route. close. Micro pixel. But the next. Next up, oh, will kill. And nice, nice, nice. That's the hit Belade yeah. looking for. Belade, a stock lead against Longo. That is insane. That's been crazy. But how can Longo take it back in the second stock? With a forward smash like that, so okay. Right forward smash. <laughs> Quite questionable, but you know what? If it what? works, it works. If it works, it works. I'm Indeed. surprised he dropped the gyro. It feels trying to channel them Lucretio combos. Yeah. Might be able to get a zero to death, but I don't know if he has in practice. Yeah. The air dodge and the foot stall. Oh, Ooh, that no. is tough. The awareness from Longo to go for that rather yeah. than just going for the spike. Longo Literally. remembered he's like a high level player. He's like, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna footstool you. I don't really care about this literally, anymore. Literally optimal. The early shield off <laughs> may be detrimental to short care. Because as it may be more in to get Oh! Caught. No more nairs. Just now, up airs, I mean. I was just it. But if I'm really close, like, oh. if, they, if they keep scrapping like this, Longo will have the upper hand as Rob's close range frame there is a lot better than Chog. Yeah, that's for sure. Like, Belair needs to start. He play. needs to play a bit more patient here, it, for sure. Love a bit more patient. It's a bit further back. Oh, Ooh. clean. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe just keep holding forward and hope for the best. Yeah, I mean... That, okay. You do you. you, do, you do we're you, we're not the Shulk mains. I'm saying, we're not the Shulk <laughs> mains. <laughs> Showing us up right now. It's humbling us. Oh. Speed up will allow him to get... This music Ooh. is really very calming. Yeah, it's pretty good. Has a boss to build the damage. I've noticed Rob is not able to uh, do his nares that he usually does here. 
because of uh, Shulk's long range, he can mm. just like up, uh, up tilt it or just nair it out because his nair is faster and covers. Yeah, as Rob's um, nair is quite slow, he kind of has to start at the mid range. Yeah. But Shulk, literally, like, Shulk yeah. literally wants you at mid range, so it's really hard for Rob to press nair because yeah. to space it how he wants to, he needs to be in. Shulk's perfect range. Yeah, yeah. So it's not as effective. But oh, that up is gonna take yeah, it. Yeah, that's gonna take it. But very close indeed. It was a pretty, pretty close game one. Yeah. I would say so. However, I do think that down at the ledge was a little bit cheesy. So he did get stuck with a little bit of cheese. While yeah. Longo, I guess he got the cheesy stuck with the footstool. Yes, they both got one with cheese. Yeah. But I don't know. I feel like Longo played his game plan a bit, a little bit more. Had a bit more of a consistent game plan as. Yeah. Blade was definitely making that comeback though. He was definitely like running through it. Slowly but surely, Especially maybe. with that spike he did. Spike, the spike was very good for momentum. Yeah. yeah. Definitely was able to at least stop the bleeding of the final stock to the second stock. Yeah, for sure. Let's see if he's going to get footstooled again here. <laughs> Let's hope not. I don't think he's going to put himself in that situation twice. Well, yeah. We can hope. But I really want to see Belair just play more at like mid-range, play a little bit more patiently, not too close, not too far, just yeah. play Shulk's like area well. Yeah. I guess with speed art, you can circumvent the what I said a bit more because you have more ability to weave out close range. But look, gets close, look at this damage oh. he's taken. Spreads the counter. Just don't panic, just don't panic. Yeah, there you go. Very good early air slash from Belair. Yeah. Ooh, expecting to roll in. But it's stuck in the gyro zone right there. Not a place yeah. you want to be. Buster. Oh, he's going to have to take all of these. Rob's down tilt is frame free and oh. broken. Oh, Very nice match. Nice dodge. Looking for Oh, nice. <laughs> for a cheeky in footstool, but it's not getting it this time. <laughs> yeah. However, what? I, however, have you seen did that send first back? Spot? Why did that send back? Uh, I think the gyro sends depending on the direction you're facing as you throw it. I don't know why I sent backwards, but maybe like turn around. No, I mean the, the forward tilt. Did you see the forward tilt? Forward tilt? It sent it backwards. Maybe it was so attention. silly. Bro, Down bad throw. roll, please. Bro, that is oh, such good yep. mash. A very He's good, so good mash, at but the air dodge ruined it for them. But as you see, they're playing this matchup a lot closer. But no, don't. Uh, I couldn't get the spike, but very good recovery from the lead. Yeah, very interesting. But Belen really, really, really just needs some space and a little bit of time to breathe. Yeah. To because he's not getting that plan. right now. Mm -hmm. But yeah, as I said, literally first game. If they play close range, yeah, Shulk's gonna get boxed out by Rob's ridiculous fast buttons. Yeah. Rob can play in any scenario: short range, mid range, long mm -hmm. range. It's That's crazy. crazy. But I do think his strengths are definitely short range and long range. Mid range is alright because of that. Yeah. But mostly close range, long range, while Shulk literally yeah. that dominates in mid range. For sure. Oh. Ooh, ooh, try to catch him with the backslash. The gyro extending the hitbox there. Yeah. Allowing him to live another another day. But Hongo just taking this so he patiently. He really wants to do this bit out. by bit. Ah, oh, the uh, air dodge. Any panic, in panic like of that. the gyro. Very yeah. nicely placed by Longo. Is this Xenoblade music? It is Xenoblade music, but Longo re the ledge. Oh, but still got away with it. And he gets away with it. I don't, don't know, doing some magic here, getting away with that. Or we'll read on the spot dodge. Don't know, Longo's just in his head right now. Just, Belade's so scared of everything Longo's doing. Yeah. Okay, he gets the forward tilt. I actually think he wanted a ledge from there. Um, yeah, there, there, but he didn't quite get the ledge from. Oh, I see. Ooh, got a there. He actually could have there, 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 maybe. Or there, there. Yeah, you can definitely tell Blade is panicking a bit here. Mm. But just, just Rob is just so scary. I would be panicking too. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. It's kind of it's pretty hard the situation. Yeah. But yeah, as you see, Blade's got a little bit of space to breathe, and now he's like starting to formulate like a little plan now. Yeah. Just a little bit. Oh, he jumps a bit too much. Okay. He that air slash was really good. Very unfortunate that you got caught by that. Um, yeah. There. You know, being able to switch between arts while being under so much pressure yeah. can be very uh, mentally yeah. taxing, but you can definitely respect it a lot. Definitely can. That's very good down the up here, though. But up throw oh. might kill soon. They had to read the roll, but just a bit yeah. miscalculated. This could be it. This could be down it tilt? for longer. I mean, oh, didn't quite reach. Ooh, the, the nice delay on the up. 
But as you see, yeah, look, as soon as he held mid-range there, managed to get in there, managed to get, like, one of the hits he wanted in. Oh, uh, forward tilt's gonna take it. Yeah. Apparently, Clean, Clean 2-0 by Longo. Yeah. Just seemed like Blade got a bit too impatient and just wanted to get a hit in, but... Mm. He was impatient and also was, like, pressing a lot, a lot of panic options. Yeah. Longo is very experienced, clearly, so he definitely knew how to deal with that kind of playstyle. Capitalized on every, literally every, like, air dodge yeah. weight that he made. Yeah. Just, just in his head. The, nothing much more I can really say. Just in his head. It was just in his head, yeah. Oh, who do you think will win this event? Uh, well, I'm hoping Streaks wins the event or Zone. But... We'll see how it goes, we'll see how it goes. De de yeah, definitely my favourites to win. Yeah. If who's on stream? I don't know. Someone with a bag. Oh, Sabai. Oh, that's Sabai, yeah. Oh. I actually played against him in Anthers. He's such a, he's such a throw, uh, troll. Okay, Arch okay. Nemesis. Arch Nemesis could also take it away, actually. Because he is crazy with it. Mm. I think Arch Nemesis only started uh, playing in the scene during 2022. I believe this matchup will be Ryu versus Captain Falcon. Mm. It's gonna be very interesting. Because Captain Falcon is a rushdown and Ryu can kind of struggle against those rushdowns. They have a lot of really good close range options, so I don't know if they'll like quote unquote struggle, but it, if they're put into disadvantage, it does get quite hard for them. Yeah. As their reco recoveries are quite linear and easy to capitalize on. Yeah. But in neutral, because Lemmy's gonna have a projectile in neutral. Buttons are still going to be very quick and like strong. Yeah. Like Falcon still has to get in in the end of the day, and yeah. if he camps with Shakinets, like he gets hard. Yeah. I think at the beginning of the match, Nemesis will be winning neutral because of his fire blitz. It's mm -hmm. called it's called fire blitz, right? No, no, no fireballs, fireballs. Fireball, I see. Fire blitz is something else. I don't know why. The flare blitz is Charles outside B. My bad. <laughs> I got hacked. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, this is going to be a matchup of can Nemi hold his hold down the neutral, and can Sab pressure Nemi into making mistakes and play into his game plan. Yeah, especially as Falcon need to get the reads on the air dodges and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, the thing is that Nemesis, like also has those crazy combos, right? Mm -hmm. Like, he can also close out stocks, like, pretty very early quickly. sometimes. Especially on Ryu, very high kill power character. Yeah. Combos do hella damage. That's what I was saying. In a matchup like this, because Falcon has to be close up, in close range, yeah. even the slightest mistake, they can take, like, 70% in yeah. a string. And also, like, Captain Falcon does have, like, a lot better uh, mobility overall. I, I agree, yes. Yeah, so it's going to be a very interesting matchup, that's for sure. Yeah. SSBU. Sure. Oh, you Nemesis. Bro is trying to promote himself. Demi. Oh, it's the Twitter handle. It's the Twitter handle. <laughs> oh, is that his Twitter? Yeah, it's the team shot down there. Oh, I see. Yeah. Bro is a promoter. You have to promote yourself from time to time. If 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 you if you don't have yourself, who has who really has you? <laughs> Don't got yourself who really has you. Yeah, man. You that, that reminds me of the tag that some people put on. It's like, you know, usually people do like for someone, yeah. and then I love the one that's like for me. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a for me, but that sounds very, very funny. Yeah. The DC UFA. UFA. I oh, last UFA. Yeah. The, I actually the one with it. the Donkey Kong. Yeah, yeah, with Akari. Oh my gosh. He had the for me. Insane. It was insane. I didn't go to it. How was it? It's so, so, so good. It was such an amazing event to go to. Uh, it wasn't just Smash. You had the fighting games in the other arena. Yeah. So you could just go over, watch them games, come back to 
smash when you want to. Yeah. Just just a blast. And scores beat Chag. Yeah. Scores beat Chag. Also, Yo. Streaks also made T swap off of Casio. Nobody in that t tournament could make T swap off of Casio. Yeah. But Streaks managed to with his Fox. So just goes to show, never underestimate the UK scene. That's what I'm saying. Everybody except him folded to the Casio. And he won the event. Yeah. As we see, Falcon versus Ryu. Can Sab Wait, did T win, it, win the event? I'm pretty sure T won the event, yeah. Oh, damn. Is that Matia or Hikaru? One of the two. But let's see if Sab can apply his pressure or Nemi can hold down the neutral. Oh, immediately jumps from platform. Yeah, you see, look, knows that the fireball is coming. Run up the Shakus. See, look, he got hit twice. Is at 26, 51. This oh, is oh, this is what I meant by that, oh, by that dynamic. He's cooking. Oh, I think if that if that Tatsu hit, he was dead. <laughs> scary as it is. But, but can Tab get an opening here? Yeah. I would have my money on Nemesis, man. He's he's just insane. <laughs> I tell you, if he could hold down the neutral, it's gonna be very hard for Sab to do anything. Yeah. And as you can see, he's just been a moving, sturdy wall. Yeah, yeah. Nemesis just like, yeah, he's moving around like a mean bot. Mm. Not to call him a bot, but <laughs> I wouldn't say a bot. I said he's just a moving, sturdy wall, and that is it for this stock. Bro, I guess not. <laughs> like, what? What is he cooking? Oh, he's still got the stock in the end. Yeah. Right? Definitely fumbled the situation. Yeah. That's right. I've played against Nemesis. He always does something really weird when he shield breaks, Probably and then he to, never gets it. Probably just wants to practice going for it because yeah. maybe he gets a low percent target. He might kill it earlier. Yeah. Bro is practicing uh, combos mid tournament. It's crazy. The best place to practice because the nerves are in there. Yeah, that does make sense. But yeah, as I said, if Sam's just unable to break his neutral, he'll Damn. just get crushed by the combos and every time he tries to go in. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh cancelled it? He just Surprise. ate that. Surprised he, he cancelled it. Yeah. Oh, sour spot fair. But nice, a nice catch on the disadvantage yeah. of Ryu. Yeah. That's what you have to do with a lot of these fighting game characters. Make the absolute most out of this disadvantage. Yes. If you can't make the most out of the disadvantage, you'll struggle very heavily in the matchups. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, he is cooking. Let him cook. Let him cook. But like I said, this matchup is literally a matter of can Sab apply enough pressure or can... Oh, Ooh. that was so clean. Harry down tilt, true sure. That you. was so clean. Very, very clean from Nemi. We love to see it. Oh. oh. Very lucky you're still on stage. Oh, this matchup is so... <laughs> These two players are lovely to watch. Absolutely. Like, absolutely. they're both, like, clipping each other here. Absolutely see it, but oh. I just want to see Sab mix up his approaches a little more. Yeah, oh! Like maybe dash it. dance a bit more, weave in and out a bit more, because you have to use your super Oh! Ooh. Never mind, shoot up there to fair. Damn. Catch that spot dodge. Yeah. But then you're on a fresh stock. This is going to be hard for him to... Oh, the read on the... Oh, that was so scary. Read. Wouldn't have killed, but would have been a lot more damage. Nevis is just playing it safely, he's just waiting. Oh! Now this is where Sap oh. has to extend his lead. This could be it! Oh! How much can he push it? Oh, no, he wants it so bad! What's it so bad? He's oh, 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 oh. Let, him let him cook! Let him cook! Let him cook! Let him cook! Oh my god! That was insane! Holy shit! Sam, but you are insane! Oh my god! He went we got, for that! We got the read of Reed! As I said, if the Sam fire. can keep up the pressure and get the game plan he wants, he does what he wants. Does what he wants. Oh my God! The that was pressure. absolutely that was insane. insane. God Yo, damn! I'm losing my mind. That match was insane. That was a crazy match. But with that, make it best of five, please. Please. <laughs> but with that, can they? Oh, I want to see more, bro. Sab's explosive pressure. Even though he was holding down neutral, he just let disadvantage and played disadvantage not quite well enough. 
But I really want to see Nemi punish these side Bs a little bit more because he's really getting away with these side Bs on shield for free. Yeah. When they should be definitely getting punished every time he's pressed. Oh. But R7 just <laughs> seems to have to download, not gonna lie. Lemmy's oh, not playing any games no, this time. By, come on, Seth, man. You got the clip, it's time yeah. for you to go down. Uh, not getting that anymore. He felt himself a bit too much there. A little bit. Oh. Both these players just poking things at each other, trying to get something started, but... It's mostly just a back and forth right now. It's a big back and forth. But well, being a stock down and having a back and forth is not oh. what you want. But Nemi has to land now. Oh, he managed to get that there. Yeah. This is, uh, I would say even, but it's actually Nemesis has not a... Not even. Yeah. Nemesis has a huge advantage right now. Yeah. And he's one oh. confirm away from death. Okay, that's not going to kill him. Oh, okay, now he's one confirm away from death. <laughs> one for, oh, uh, this one could be it. Oh, oh man, he, he does get it. down tilt. Oh. I was not quite taking it, but the back is definitely going to take it. That's a very yeah. powerful move. Damn. But yeah, as I said, Captain Falcon's gameplay is definitely hit, like, hinged on getting the reach of your opponent's panic options and taking advantage of the disadvantage. Yeah. But when you're not given the opportunity, games like this happen. Yeah. Where you're just unable to get much. And like, then you just wipe them away with a down tilt. Yeah, nice catch on the rerun. Yeah. Oh, oh, Nair, Nair. <laughs> the free Nair. Look like Palatina. <laughs> <laughs> Is this really Dark Soccer versus Donald's stream? <laughs> okay. Oh, nice punch on the Shaku. Yeah, Sabai can definitely make it back. Oh! Yeah, okay, clean. yeah. That was nice. That was nice. Can Nemi stay composed for this final stock? Or will Sabai Sab please win? Up? I want to see a game three. Please. Everyone trying to see game three over here. Well, Nemi has to win for the game three. Oh, wait, Nemi, right. <laughs> I'm a bit silly like that. No, oh, we don't want to see that happen. I cursed him. The air dodge at ledge. Yeah. Commentators curse, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, oh, you want to see a game three? You got it. <laughs> okay, now. Game three we asked for. Oh. I want to see a delicious meal over here. Delicious I want to see some cooking. I'm really liking the confirms from Sab. Like, yeah. definitely got their confirms down freaking solid. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like... Like, he's practiced Captain Falcon. Absolutely. It's so clear. Like, he's... He's one-on-one -on -one with Captain Falcon. That's for sure. I wonder what playlist Nemi's looking at right there. Look, I see it's on YouTube. It's on YouTube, it's yeah, yeah. YouTube. What is he looking at? Oh, let me see, yeah. Hold on, we're trying, to we're trying to watch this gameplay. What is it? Okay. <laughs> I just saw def some explosion. Def definitely smash. I thought I feel like that was a smash explosion right there. Yeah. Why doesn't he just plug headphones in? Maybe, maybe, but he doesn't have any headphones in. Oh. Listen to music or something. Oh wait, he might have like AirPods. Yeah, we just can't see it, and he's hat. True, true. But yeah, nice controller game three, though. Three final game. Yeah. Who's gonna pull out ahead? Can yeah. Nemi hold his stone wall neutral? Yeah. Or will Sab break through it with his explosive maneuverability and frame data? Yeah. And as we see, even from what I said game one, Sab's using his mobility so much better to weave in and out rather than go for straight approaches. Okay, as he straight as approaches. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Shaq can begin to back it. But these fireballs are just making it through, and mm. even if Sab made it through the fireball, like, when you get to Nemesis, that's like the new, the actual demon. Mm. Oh, and he is cooking. He got in, and he's making the most out of it here. Yes. To keep pushing this advantage. Yeah. Oh, oh my whiff because of the <laughs> I was packing down. Oh! Captain Falcon's frame data is insane. Piece. Oh. That's not going to catch. Did it punish it? Maybe yeah. he's sleeping right now. <laughs> that is very good. Oh! I think like, a back air would have been just fine. Yeah! But he tried to style with the side beam. Bro, he's so stylish. Much. I'm liking this gameplay from Sam. That's actually yeah. really fun to watch. Ah, <laughs> this so is many so many cool. so much spaghetti between both players. Yeah. Nelly, but Sam has the right idea. Oh, nice. Ooh, and that pressed, takes him because out. Because he pressed focus, he died there. He drifted oh, out. Oh yeah, that does make sense. He was, like I saw that he went a bit too far in the end. Okay, that's the catch. But didn't get the true for you. This is so weird. Sab's holding it down right now, but that tax is oh, going to take the spot. Oh, go straight up. Two to two. Oh, Cat, um, 
Fuck out of that cancel. But I feel like Sab's catching on to his focus cancels and heavily punishing Nemi for them. Yeah. Back in this fire, focus cancel. Getting caught yet again. Nemi needs to stop oh, Nemi. Oh. How do you get? Oh, you can. Oh, oh, oh! oh. I get uh, Oh, the reverse. Too high percent. I think it was the rage. I think he didn't realize his rage was too high. Maybe, maybe. Oh. Ooh. Damn. Nice read on the jump. Oh! Yeah. yeah. Fully Sap, charged. Sap had to go for ledge there. He said yeah. he had to go above ledge to grab him. Oh, but a huge pivot grab. Oh! But yeah, Sab needs to keep him in disadvantage right oh, now and get this oh, stock. Throw him down. He's Ooh, trying to... Oh, oh that would have been so lucky. nice. He definitely had the right idea. Yeah, Sab by just... He has so many full of ideas, but just not able to execute him right now. Mm. Okay. Is he going to get something? But he has to land now. Oh, Ooh, that might be huge. Oh, he had the right... Idea. Oh, that's I'm it. So sure. That's oh, it. Push it bad right. and, that, and that is game. That's yeah, that's game. Yeah, that's Nemesis the takes the set 2-1. Very, yeah. very... very Cool set. Wait, why did? Wait, they're still, they're still sitting there. That's uh, three. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That's I very, wanted to very see more of that. Such a cool set to watch. Watch Nemesis takes it. I loved watching that. <sighs> but Sabra's really close. Just has to open up his disadvantages just a few more times. Yeah. Take advantage of them bad yeah. focus cancels and maybe he would have won the set. Yeah, yeah. It feels like a. Uh, it really showed how the execution between Captain Falcon and Ryu is very mm. different, whereas Ryu is very input, but Captain Falcon is more like circumstances, like uh, the drift and um, the percentages and stuff like that, whilst mm. Ryu is just like execute with the inputs, you know? Yes. Yeah, so they're practicing like very different things, but very combo heavy characters despite that. Mm. And that's the diversity we love to see in Smash Bros. Like, Captain Falcon is a very Smash Bros. character. Ryu is an overall fighting game character, like a traditional fighting game mm. character. And it's like the transition is just, we love to see it, you know? Both sides I agree, I agree. fighting against each other. But yeah, I think that's gonna be it for me. Uh, I'll just leave it at that set. I don't want. I don't want anything to uh, bore me now. I might just fall asleep, bro. <laughs> that was off, just off too the high. Explosive set. <laughs> yeah, my tolerance is just too high, uh, too low right now. Fair enough. It was fun commentating with you. Fun commentating with you too, man. Nice That's to meet you. It's just me now. The stream just got me. Yeah. Wait, hold on, hold on. It's, it's just me for now, though. Income. That's fair. That's fair. That is fair enough. They might not. They might think I'm speaking to ghosts. Hey. Yo. Yo. Let's go. The brother-in-law, oh. bro. The brother-in-law. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everyone? What's up? I am back on stream for back a bit. On comms. I, I want to commentate this because, bro, both players. They. I know these two used to love playing Wi-Fi. So I want to see how good they are. Oh wait, we have Nemi versus Longo. Wait, this is yeah. kind of sick. Back to back for Nemi. Back to back for Nemi. Yeah. I was expecting him to like take a little breather before like going into a bigger match like this. Wait, you see, look. You see. <laughs> Holy. Like a year ago, yo. Holy <laughs> Recent sets one year. <laughs> but he free Odin, but like. Oh. Yeah, we, we you don't know, know how it could change now. Exactly, man. However. Oh, yeah. I do think the dynamic in this matchup, they're both going to be spacing out their projectiles, mm -hmm. trying to find a way in. I feel like Rob will have an easier time at doing it, even though Shaku. we can spam that them Shaku. Yeah. Spam them Shaku. Can... Those things just delete. Delete stuff. Absolutely. And I'm pretty sure like um, the interaction with it, it just launches it upwards like a gyro. Yeah. yeah, it just launches it away and he can just instantly do another one. Still find it kind of funny. Both of these characters like playing close range and long range, mm -hmm. but not really mid range. Yep, that's their weak spot. <laughs> the, that's the sweet spot for most other characters. But like, it is pretty tough for both of them to just like play around those, their tools. Mm. I, I, I like to see a lot of lasers as well because it's transparent. The laser's transparent, yes. so it'll be in the fireball wars, but who knows? And he has a reflect. Yo. He does have a reflector, but it's a, very, it's a very slow reflector though. Yeah, d seriously, yeah. It's not like Kazi is. True, true, true. But like, still. It will finesse stocks. Well, let's get into this first stock. Let's get the first game. Of course, on Pokemon Stadium. Oh, here comes the jump in. Now we've got a 
very tight set. Okay, nice. Yes, he double Shaku. <laughs> double Shaku. You, you're sleeping in the disadvantage. Nah, eat these. Yep, another down tilt. <laughs> this is gonna be down tilt wars. Exactly, man. <laughs> the other Shoto. Look at him. He got a Tatsu as well. That's <laughs> battle of the Shoto. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Look, look. <laughs> Oh, nice, nice. Frame traps, frame traps. Wait for it. Bro, he's two top player. Look at him. Up to ba, up ba, 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 up that, to the top. That DI wasn't go. the best, but. And then another heavy. one. Oh, never mind. Tatsu sending him straight up. Oh my god, look, look at the, sh the stun. Did you see that? Mm. That was insane. You could probably get a pickup from that, potentially. Oh wow, nice down oh. there. Yep, the back the air. retaliation back from air. there. The yeah, Longo trying to press now out of disadvantage, but caught during the startup. Yeah, man, it's very, very like situation to do. Oh, that's it. Oh, didn't quite catch it. Yep. That auto cancel, by the way. Mm. So he could have gotten away yeah, with the, that. The down, the Rob's down there has crazy auto cancel. Count I don't frames. know why. Who for that? Like Lou would do down, down there, and just up smash. Yep. Glide toss. Burner boost. Burner boost. <laughs> but back to the hand. Let me just extend in this lead. Uh oh. And with Rob having to approach into this brick wall that is real. Yeah, that's it. Just cleaning up. Just, just cleaning up that stock really quickly. Clean it up real quick. Let me try to go for a cheesy shield break. Oh, uh oh. Oh, the, the most uh -oh. big painful moment for FGC that is characters. Pretty tough. Where you get the side of you the wrong way. And you lose your jump for it? Oh, hell no, nah, man. Worst situation. Oh! The double parry! Yo, we're playing first strike up in here. We don't care about your fireballs. It's Let the me... third one that counts. <laughs> 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 Let me just play in this neutral, as I said. Oh, really oh, well. oh. The jab, jab. True. Hit confirmed, by the way. It has that Story. much hit stun from that rising there, like descending there, I mean. Because you could just literally dash up and then go for a down tilt straight after. Like, it's so... Look at that! Yeah, down tilt Shaku. Big damage. Uh oh. But let me just. Beating through these like hitboxes, catching him as soon as he's up. Up, so done. Yeah. Longo's not finding a way in. Oh, oh, SDI's up to avoid <laughs> any form of like guaranteed hit confirmed from him. And these nerds are just opening up Longo now. Oh, that's it, yeah. That is gonna be Shinjuriken! That is game one to Nami. Held down neutral. Wow. What I want to see from Longo is just more. Pushing his advantage at ledge when he got Nemi in disadvantage. Nemi does have a big habit of focus cancelling a bit early yep, in disadvantage. Yeah, above ledge, just like trying to get back to center stage. Mm. Thinking like, I'm not... Because the thing is, right, he expects it because most people don't really punish him for doing that. Because he always does it like aggressively towards center. Yes. And no one really punishes him because, you know, I, it has so... What is it? Just one frame? Just one frame of like, um, just general like... God damn it. Vulnerability. Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, just like the armor on it just makes it so hard to just like contest. Yeah. And if you have single hits, you can't really do much about it. But Rob has an up air. He could just juggle him for days. <laughs> he cannot land. But yeah, I feel like this is a matchup where whoever's the advantage can oh, yeah. honestly He's just camp it out. And it's like, right longer with this advantage, you should just play it back if possible. Yeah. He loves landing aggressively. Mm. Try and like checkmate him into like thinking of like what options he's going up. That's it. Crazy hit confirmed. <laughs> right there, Nemi went for focus, <laughs> went for focus out of the berry. I but Abdul has two hits, so it instantly it took him care. out. Of it. That's how it does, care. As I said, it, it does not care. If you have multi hits, these characters do not care. Mm. Oh wow. Lucky he was at ledge, so the nair didn't do much. But Lucky just sent him off stage. Grab Gyro, but that ain't gonna do much for Nemi because. Uh, gyro combos with um, Shoto's are uh, practically useless if you're not getting up close. And oh wow, that could have been a punish. I really like the range that Longo's playing at now, forcing Nemi to like approach, yeah, forcing him to during play the mid range, a bit closer. Backing off, seeing like he's jumping in towards him. He does that. Okay, yeah, this is. Oh, yep, toss it. Oh, he tried oh, to grab him. Yeah, yeah that, that's what happens if you try to scrap with um, Nemi. Yeah, scrapping oh, with Tries to go for a um, F smash. Didn't quite the, get the gyros on there. Yeah, the wobble. That's it. He does not know the, the DI. Bash. He does not know the mash or the DI. God damn. Now Longo sitting pretty with a fresh stock. With what seven percent leverage from Funemi, but like I don't know how he's gonna get around this now. The adaptation from Longo is kind of insane. Yeah, down tilt, down tilt. Now, now you know how it feels. 
You know his one's like full, like full frames. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's frame free. <laughs> I swear it's frame full. Is it frame full? Yeah, I'm pretty free? sure it's frame full. Oh, fair. So it's really good in the scrapping game. Oh, he chased. Oh, read on the head touch. Nice. Exactly, man. Us. That could safe. be safe. <laughs> no down tilt can save you from that. Uh -oh. But let me just try to close uh -oh. the range and very Oh my god, he's so that fat! Huge. He was still airborne when that still hit. He's <laughs> the so big! Very simple. Oh, that's it. Clean up, clean up, that's it. Oh, that, the that's gonna be the decider. If Nemi doesn't adapt and just like try and know the eye to get around it, that's just gonna be his checkmate. And he might have to like start mashing and air dodging because he's been caught yes. by up to up air every single time. Mm. You're gonna have to risk the air dodge read. Exactly, man. It's it's more, it's less of a 50-50 in this game. Mm. It's, it's almost guaranteed compared to like in Smash 4. If you remember, like, it's you know, you can get like um the read with the jump. Yeah, yeah. Smash 4 is a 50-50 in this game. It's a. Uh, it's almost guaranteed. It's a, it's a bit weird because it's a. Uh, if they don't mash, the up tilt might not scoop out, or is it up smash? If no, if they jump out, up it comes with up smash. Yeah. If they don't mash, up tilt will scoop them out. So it's like, it's a 50-50 between those. And if you do mash out and you don't smash at the right time, you can air dodge out of the situation. Yeah. It's just really tough. Mm. I would say. Really tough situation. But this is now game three. I wonder how ah. both players will adapt to the situation and how what? they will play out this part of the matchup. I don't know. As they go to know. town and city. <laughs> Higher ceiling, I, th I think. Yeah. I don't actually remember, bro. <laughs> God damn it, Zone. Be that. Just try, try to ask me for a iPhone charger. Yes. <laughs> oh no. I, I, I asked because I've been using it for like three, four days without charging it. I'm like, I don't know what percent it is on right now. But it should be fine. But anywho, back into the game, taking it to town. 17% for the Shaku. Very, very powerful projectile. Yep. But the laggy side B gets punched by now. Yeah, man. It's not really good in neutral. But I'm yeah, saying. look at this. Look at Longo just holding, like, yeah, just holding just back. Center. Holding center. Well, not even center, just, just holding, like in, not, yeah, not approaching. Space, yeah. Taking his time. I really like this because you do not want to scrap with Sholto, ever. <laughs> yeah, just like landing on top of them. Oh, okay, nice. Could be very laggy. Catch the jump cancel. in. But nice, nice. Uh, make oh, most of this disadvantage. Uh, yep. Yeah. Nemi's still in disadvantage, just unable to get out. He always tries to hold towards the opponent, trying to expect like the landing in air to actually like hit. Doesn't work. Just go back to Shakuing. <laughs> but like, he loses the fireball wars in this game. Like compared to like any other characters, mm. he legit cannot like scrap. Per se. Like Rob has the gyro and the lasers to fight through, while Nemi only has Shaku. Yep. Of course, lasers win. Uh oh. Uh oh. But uh -oh. Nemi just trying to close in, as we see. This is the only thing that we can really do. We can just slowly parrying. find his way in. Yep. And but just parrying is out. the best defensive option you can get. That killed yep. some Exactly, hundreds. that's what I'm trying to say. It's the best no. offensive and defensive option. That is you can insane. Do. Yeah, it just deletes. Rage Ryu is a menace. Absolute menace. But Nemi closing out that stock. And this is why Long was just trying to stay away if possible. If he can. Yeah, but I don't know, like. every punish Nemi gets is a clean like 30, 40 percent every time. Okay, now he has to edge guard him. Now he has to get rid of him. He needs to push this advantage as much oh. as he can. And, and <laughs> Yo, Jiro, Jiro. And, and Jiro will Proceed do that the for you. Proceed the neutral! A Jiro Go will do Jiro. that for you. <laughs> and that's Battle of Down Tilts now. Longo front out Down Tilts. Say, Nemi front out Down out Tilts. I do not want to deal with this. Oh. Tries to frame trap him with that F tilt, but does not work out in his favor. Tries to reset. Oh. Tries to go for an ambitious oh, read. Oh, full focus. You can tell that ah. Nami's getting a little bit desperate for to get stuff. Even when ahead, I'm Such surprised he went for that. Such a drift as well from Rob. Like, he doesn't even have to commit to his whole body when he's going for those nares. Really love that. But Nami just playing as well. Holding center and just like throwing out Ooh. projectiles when he needs to. Yep. And with Longo on the back burner, like, he's aye, forced aye, to aye. approach now. Yep. As we see the contrast between the first stock and this stock in Longo's gameplay. It's actually so scary now. Like, Very. Now he has to read into everything, how he's landing on top of him. Like, that's, that might go. be the thought. Yep. It's killing off the size really very strong. He's such a good kill option. Oh. 
Go call by the Jaro Trap of trying to pick aye, it up. Aye, aye. Yes, the parries from Nemi have been insane. Hadouken! Jacket! Hadouken! Hadouken! Oh, the all turn around saving Nemi's ass right there. Oh. Nice. In the blender, oh. in the blender. Didn't get a read on the <laughs> down tilt, unfortunately. <laughs> Mad oh. scary. Can he DI the up here though? Oh, he fell out. Ah, oh, yep, but he reversed it. But he whiffs nice. and he whiffs. dies because oh, Shuri nice. just did not hit. Yeah, he's got to But get final out. stock for both players now. Yep. Can Bungo oh, bring this back? Oh, wait, I think it was the gyro. I was the f did 18. Mm, but wait. thing at 120. Big up. I think the only way Longo gets this is by getting a big disadvantage yep, yep. win. This is it, this is it. He's oh, scared. he jumped. Yep. If Longo. Grab him. Oh, back off stage again. Another disadvantage situation. Nice. 70 to 120. Let me just need to land and get a jab or uh -oh. something. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Let me just need to play this slow. He still has the lead right now. Doesn't need to commit now, to anything. Oh, God. Oh, oh he gets God. in. That's and that's going to be it. That's going to show you. And that's going to be. Nemi taking it. the set. Wow. He takes it over Longo. Crazy. I'm on. Oh yeah, Brett. Have Darkstalker versus Streaks. Are they on stream? I, I think so. But this is going to be a hype set. We've seen this matchup going time and time again. Streak says he hates this matchup. I'm not a fan of the matchup. Terry's just a powerful, strong moving wall of pain. But I'll get into more analysis in the matchup when both players are here. And again, just me on the mic. Yeah. Oh yeah, so y'all y'all getting them to on the stream. Fantastic, fantastic. <laughs> By the way, who would you like to win? Meltdown, slap it in the chat, slap it in the chat. I'm trying to see, even though I can't see chat. Actually, hold on, let me jump in the chat. We have Wade jumping on the mic. Yeah. Oh, hello there. Hello there, hello there. How are we all doing today? We have the Wade's DR team. The who, the who? The, 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 the aggressive Dark. 100. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. I am that guy. How aggressive today? Let's get a zero to. Aggie. I'm still dead from T-Bar. Still dead. Yeah. I'll take it as a two. Okay, hopefully that should be better. Perfect, perfect. But I wonder what stage you're going to start with. Kalos. Kalos. Interesting. But in this matchup, Streaks is going to look to weave around. Uh, Terry's hitboxes and stuff. Well, I feel like this might have been a mm -hmm. branded stage pick then. Probably, yeah. Just because of the high ceiling. Wants to avoid those, like, nah, up smashes. Yeah, up smashes, absolutely. But as you see, <laughs> Streak's been in most of the recent sets. And Only it, losing in region. And that probably went, that was game five as well. Went to game five, yes. One, but can Darkstalker adapt to. Streaks is, this is a button check. Oh no, just pressing a few buttons. Make sure they're all done. But yeah, Fox is lightweight. Darkstalk just needs a few punishes to like eviscerate the stop. Wonder what Darkstalk is going here, going for crack shoot, but I guess he's seen like, oh, he's on chill, so he just needs to get out of there as fast as possible. Mm. But crack shoot is like relatively safe, so you just, you just go for it sometimes. Get some space, get some damage. Yeah, true rising tackle, nearly taking it. 
Can this piece get his footing into this match? I see the Kalos kind of working against us there. At the moment, not currently getting much, but opening up that whiff with that big whiff punish. I think that's literally what Streaks is going to mostly look for, just whiff punishing Darkstalker's approaches, as you see even, even right there. Just a strong whiff punish, getting like 70%. And now it's pretty much tied up. And the Dallas match taking the Whoa. stock, solid from Street. One di like one disadvantage on the punish from Darkstalker over ex like overextending, oh. and that was it. A nice tech. Oh, that Peanut shield. shield. Oh my goodness. Streaks is not allowed to shield. If this is where Darkstalker wants to play, how he usually play plays, press all the buttons while you can. I think this is where Streaks is going to be in a lot of advantage here. Like he's at a high percent, but. Darkstalker loves buttons. Um, I was going to say, if he could catch out Darkstalker with all of his buttons he's pressing, just play extremely safe, mm. he's going to start racking up a lot of percent again. Absolutely. But as you see, Streak's just, just literally just holding back, waiting for Brandon to approach, for Darkstalker to approach with any option. As you see, a whiff on the up tilt or the spot dodge attack. Taking a good, like, oh, oh my god! Stop. Taking an entire stock, never mind. I'm gonna say damage, but the damage was his life. Again, it's just like one, one point from disadvantage come from Dark Souls and Streak just Loads. capitalizes instantly. Maybe Streak should have the tag go to hell because that's what he's sending <laughs> these stocks. What I was saying, Dark Souls just needs to play a bit more patiently with these approaches. He can't be pressing these buttons in neutral as Streak should just capitalize on every single one that he's pressed. Every single one. You're not allowed to just. Press like this. And the way the dynamic will work is that if they both win an even amount of exchanges, Dark Soko should be ahead. And especially with Go as well, if they're ever equal and at 100%, Dark Soko can take it. Both times we've seen this set though, the second that mm. Dark Soko has Go online, Street's just ended it. It's just gone instantly. Mm. It's a smart thing to do. You get Terry to that high percent and you just look for that kill confirm. I was oh. trying to look for a read the But here's really scary. As much as you'd think that Streaks has a huge advantage, it's actually not as far as you think. One punish could be an easy like 60%. Even death and fully. Oh, oh he catches him with a down smash and that takes it. Oh. Nice timing from Streaks. <laughs> and Dark Souls says to run it back. Not happy with how that went. Very, very clean gameplay from Streaks. Just punishing literally everything Dark Souls is going for. No change from either. Hmm? I know Dark Souls has been playing a lot of uh, Mega Man lately. I, do I don't think Mega Man will help him in this matchup. It probably wouldn't, but it's just... I don't think he's put, he's used it at all today. So. Hmm. And I also think Terry's actually... I think Terry actually does fine to this matchup. Yeah. Just that he just got caught lacking way too, way too often. He even just press crack shoot because it's really hard for Streaks to punish that one button. And you see he just pressed it twice and... Nothing much. But even though Steph is waiting for whiff punishes, even just, just the pressure Fox puts out is so scary. Seems like Dark Souls is just struggling with these close-up buttons. Mm. Like. But I think if Dark Souls ever catches him in shield, Streaks is in a very, very, very bad position because that shield can get popped very easily, and we've seen it time and time, like a few times before between them two. These two, they're playing so safe now, just because goes online. Goes online, you can't, at, can't do that. Dark Souls wanting to take advantage of Go because he knew he'd get one kill off of that. Mm. But and if you ever Shrieks get caught, just waiting for them there, up smash. But if you ever get caught of anything, Shrieks is just there to snipe that stock away. And a shine? What oh the, my, is this dead? Damn. I think, I think he did a neutral beam when it's supposed to be up there either. Yeah, but that was a hard situation because the stage back. Yeah, I think he needed a double jump. Maybe he got sniped. I don't know. He yeah. went for crack shoot and then no double jump. But maybe he got caught in that shine. So I think just running away with this game. Just playing perfect range. Zarkstar is just unable to get in right now against his pressure. It's just like the right mix of pressure and patience. Like immaculate spacing right now. Oh, I thought he was going to go for RB there. Surprised he didn't. Not like that, though. 
But this platform at the edge is not helping Darkstalker. I feel like it's benefited Streaks more than him. Yeah. But it's even though it's been Darkstalker's stage pick. Like, Darkstalker getting caught in this platform and even getting juggled off of it is just... Doesn't seem like the right option to go for. Ooh, what? Ooh. Avoids the grab with a short hop. If he really was feeling this off, he might have went for a hop smash there. I think he's just worried about Dark Stalker knows mm. he's going for it, so he's just playing really patient around it. Because again, damage like he got that net there. Got that back here. Not going to take it because it's fucked. Who is not the first one to take? Oh, oh Mr. Spike. Oh, oh. what text to Spike? Nice. But Dark Stalker still not out of this, even at 155. Scary situation, but with goal, <laughs> Terry could do some. Crazy, crazy things. Jab power dunk. Next punish could be Streak stock. Even though Streak only needs one hit, it can be very scary, but that's it. An overextension on the Buster Wolf, and that is going to be it. Two old to Streak's with efficient, just flawless gameplay. Very, very aware. That entire set, Brandon. Only used two go moves, two. and it was at the end there, and neither of them landed. One power guy is uh, one, one Buster Wolf. Wolf. None the, of them here. The pressure Streaks was putting out was just way too much for Brendan yeah. to handle. And again, I, I don't think those stages were the right picks for this matchup. I can see what Brandon wanted. I think he was just thinking about just the ceiling, really. Yeah. But, but didn't really think about platforms. Like, Fox has a lot to work with with the platforms. Yeah, and Terry's a character that can kind of struggle to get off of them. Mm. But moving on to winners' finals now, I believe. And as always, when Streaks is at MD, his FGC journey is not over. <laughs> it's never over. It's never <laughs> over. It doesn't, does not like the FGC matchups, has to play like five of them every time. Yeah, the Nandy. reason you never see streaks here is because he comes here, has to play like three or four or five SGC <laughs> players, and then he's like, nah, I don't want to go through hell again. It is not fun to go through. I don't know if he did play some Kazuya today. Mm. But I think he lost one game of that and was like, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> he's going back in the bin for now. <laughs> back to the Ryu. And it's just been Ryu since. But funny thing is that this matchup is very, very different. It's going to be similar to the Captain Falcon re um, re we saw before, where Fox is going to have to use his superior mobility to weave in and out of Ryu's threat ranges, while Nemi's just trying to hold neutral and just like push the wall of pain forward to reduce the amount of space Fox has to play around with. Yeah. But let's see how that unfolds in this game. It's going to be interesting to see how the flex comes to play, because I know... Uh, Nemi can play so here with these rivals, likes to do that. That is true. I forgot about the reflector. That'd be a high battle. But Streaks with a strong opening right now. As I said the previous few times, how will Streaks deal with Nemi's disadvantage? How much will he push the percent forward? That was an early upbeat. Right now, Nemi just struggling to get off ledge. There's reflector again. Nemi's Streaks still. playing a lot more aggressive this game. Not and that's gonna be an up smash. Oh that's very gosh. solid. Parry! God damn! Such a hard call out. But let me use stage position. He actually has a lot of advantage here. Just having this stage presence. Now I've got Fox at ledge, less space to work with. Got a little bit back, but not enough. As we see, look, as soon as Fox is caught, it gets really hard for him to move, and then maybe just gets more opportunities to get. Just hits him. Found out opening his pressure. I feel like Nemi was about to go for Shield Breaker and Streaks just somehow he just knew and up to him. Oh, the empty hot grab. This pressure is insane from Streaks right now. Just unable to land and the trade between the fair and the up smash is not favorable for Nemi. Nemi just not able to play his game plan at all. Being a moving wall of pain, just getting pushed away by this swift fucking fox. <laughs> And it's not like Nemi is playing slow or Streets is playing slow. He's like, Streets is right up in his face. He does mm. not care about a single thing coming from Nemi there. Streets just pressing the 
correct buttons in the situation and let me just get opened up by every single one of them. He's expecting there twice and got two dares from the mix-ups from literally every other approach in this set oh, so far. God. That back is going to take it. Just so, so clean. See, stream, now you know why Streaks is my favorite to win the tournament. Do, do you see this gameplay? Are you not entertained? That was fast. <laughs> very, very swift. But what I do want to see from Nemi is... <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> I, I don't. It's hard to think what he needs there, because mm. he was in, spent a lot of time in the air, not just from like up air, like back air, up throw, up smash, mm. forward air. It was just he was just struggling to land so much. Yeah, but I guess there was one thing he was doing well was when he had streaks press that ledge, and when he actually took away the space streaks had to move, he was able to get some damage and get some pressure in. Like even when he got the kill on like I don't know if it was the first or second stop with Tatsu it was at ledge when he got damage it was at ledge yeah. whenever he's able to push streaks into like uncomfortable positions at ledge he's able to actually put out the pressure he wants to in the matchup but to get there is really hard ideally you'd want a smaller stage and I'm pretty sure PS2 is technically the longest stage in the game like side to side so a better stage pick from Nemi IMO I do feel like Town Team would be there here just because there's more platforms to play around. It might not be perfect, but there's a bit more landing options there. Mm, I completely agree. But at the same time, it does mean more up air extensions for Steph if he can get the up airs. You could definitely see some jank for platform mm. with the forward airs as well. Right now, Nemi's just trying to get out of disadvantage again. And this is where the stage is going to be perfect. Oh! And that's a short break. And that's why I need to be careful. So Swift hit into the Shuri, take the stock. I was just about to say, with it turning in, uh, into FD there, Streaks would take advantage with uh, more jungles, but... Oh, the air dodge. Oh, that's a huge whiff. Gonna take some damage here. He might die from this. Oh my yep. gosh. Very explosive. Got nice punish on there. Maybe this was a great stage for Nemi. Or a very good stage for Nemi. Nemi just, as I said, just able to get away once. As soon as... Not like last game where Steph got literally every hit correct. As soon as they're more even on the guesses, Nemi catches lines and stuff. It gets a lot harder for Strix to apply the pressure. Why was we here that... Let me just... That might be it. Might be a full stop. God damn. Could just be that Nemi just needed that one game. He's like, oh, okay, this is what Fox does. I remember what Fox does really? now. Mm. Let me punish that. Yeah, it's true. But as we see, I don't, I don't think, like, compared to first game, I don't think Streaks was dancing around his shield as much. Like, he wasn't using the space he had as much. As we see, they got back to PS2 where he has more space. Wasn't using the space as much and got caught out on a lot of, a lot of his approaches. Similar to even what I said against the Captain Falcon, just some somewhat linear approaches getting stuffed out by Ryu's jab and down tilt. But into game three we go. This is a best of five though, so a little bit more time to adapt for both players. I want to see how uh, Levy does here now because I do want to see um, Streaks play a little bit slower. As fast as game one was, it could be a little bit slower. Just to really feel out the options that Nemi goes for. And to, like, just make sure you're 100% lows with his reads. It just seems like Nemi's just like, he played that first game and he's like, he's understanding what Fox is doing now, mm. but... He's not too back quite that fast. That Hadouken was really good to stay stored up there. Oh, my Imagine God. He oh, I didn't go the way he wanted to. No punish on that folks there was a... But as we said, it's always a push of how far can you take Ryu's disadvantage. But IMO, I think that this stock is literally even. Both can die at any point. Yeah. They both die the next punish. Oh, the bank both so safe That's now. Up smash. Oh. Fantastic. Unlucky for Nemi that that Tatsu didn't hit. But it might take it right here with a Tatsu. Wow. Barely living. Very happy that Streaks didn't air dodge. Because that might have been the kicker to take him into that blast zone. It's 
Push me pressure. Okay, they push it. Wait, pushing is hard. Pushing is super hard. As I said, what you can make out of Reed's disadvantage will be like monumental. See, he's gotten a whole stock again. Just the entire <laughs> stock out of one disadvantage from like 20%. Again, I think Nemi needs to be really careful with his throw. He's been using it well, but I think Streets is going to stop picking up on it now. But mm. He can just up air through that focus like it's nothing. Yeah, you're not allowed to press focus on your landing. Unless you like 100% know Streets is going to go for a back air. That, that focus is not a button you're allowed to press. Just try fate a ledge or find a different way back to the ground. It's very hard as Ryu, but you got to find it. Keeps dropping these shields against this downer. It's just... Losing every single bit of advantage he's got at the ledge. It's, it's really hard to drop shot at the right time as it's a mix up between Nair and Down Air. And if you have to guess one or the other. Oh, my God. Look at Mal. And the game's pretty much even, even after the essentially zero to death from Streaks in the second stock. Is even neck and neck. This is, this is a really scary matchup. Streaks are 41. One punish. But. Streets just taking his time, I really like this. Just find like finding open, similar to when he's fighting Dark Soccer. Just find the whiff punish if any possible to get in. This is time to extend the lead again. Re in disadvantage, how much will Streets take it? Who might have land? But Taxi missing. That was a nice cancel, is that gonna take it? Damn! 2-1 so to there. Nemi. The range is one fist short. Really nice feeling at the end there was a Nemi didn't use focus uh, on a landing. And I think he kind of caught streaks off guard. Mm. He was expecting the focus to come out and punish the cancel, but maybe just never went for it. <laughs> but now 2-1 to Nemi. How is he going to take this game? Oh, an immediate, <laughs> immediate reflector to stop any Shaku approaches. Be the same as last time. You just all you can really do is just push these disadvantages as much as you can. Steph really holding back now, which is what I like to see because you don't want to scrap with these, these fighting game characters. Their buttons up close to just do way, 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 way too much damage. Drop shot for the Tatsu. I think he's probably going to go for up tilt. I think we're going to see Nemi try and slow his game down a bit here. I want them both to slow it down. I don't think Nemi's trying to slow it down at the moment. He's just trying to, as I said from before, just push this wall of pain forward slowly. I think he's realised where he gets the disadvantage though, and just like mm. just completely backing off. Like the second he feels like he's in disadvantage, he's good. Just, he's just leaving. Yeah, he's like literally. They're both trying to play a whiff punish game, which I like. Oh, bro, <laughs> both nearly tied. And I know Ste uh, Streaks' his DI was all the way towards that blast zone because he's input in the back here. Drifting towards it. But Streaks with a lead, he's just gonna hang back, honestly. No need to approach. And you don't want to approach his ball of pain, but the Gosh. back here catches him on the dash in. By catching a jump, gets, ah, uh, it whiffed. <laughs> he gets three up airs. And still more damage, still hasn't been punished for the one disadvantage he's been in. Down there to break that focus immediately. And now, Streaks with a, I don't come and say it's a big lead, with a small lead at the moment. <laughs> Even though it is at 90%. And he leads the lead. Any lead is a lead, but and that's going to be... the whole stock lead. <laughs> the whole stock gone. And Nemi on his last stock of this game. The streets are slowing down the game, using this space a bit more effectively, and just keeping Nemi in disadvantage a bit. Like just like in first game, just keeping Nemi in disadvantage. And Nemi expected a defensive option there. Oh. Nice down there. Handy living. Streaks managed to get out of the corner, actually pretty impressive. Nemi had all the pressure in that situation. That's gonna kill. Final stock, this is very scary for both players. 
be a little bit of damage for him. Can can streets keep him in disadvantage though? That's a real question. But the get up attack gets punished with up smash. That was not That's the a option. Very good to go disadvantage for. there. <laughs> up smash the best way to keep your opponent in disadvantage. Trying to pick 3D land. <laughs> gonna, you're gonna take him back to town, or is town banned this time? What would be left over? Kalos. Kalos. Is this gonna be the bane like it was for Darkstalker, or is this gonna be the answer that Nemi needs? This does seem like a very weird pick yet again. Like you, I can see what he's trying to go for, but mm. it's just leaving streaks so much space just to play around with. Pretty sure Fox has a wall jump as well, right? Yes, I want to say yes. I think so. so it just gives him more recovery mix up. But I guess that's not where he's getting caught, so it doesn't matter too much. But these platforms, I don't think it's going to be advantageous for Nemi. Actually, maybe because Ryu's up here is actually chasing yeah, each other. I think it, it would be better for Nemi as Ryu than it was mm. than it is for Terry. But again, there's all this space for Streets just to play around with between these two platforms. Yes. Like, we saw Nemi struggling to get down on PS2, yeah. and this is just going to be so much worse. Yeah, but well, it's the same both ways. We got whiffed. But for high recovery, you're going to focus castle in, get okay. punished for it. Not double Nair, I like that. You're actually nice. taking Nemi's stock. If your first Nair doesn't work, just snare again. Moving like Link. The stage still just feels so weird because this character, unless it's at the ledge where mm. Streets is probably going to try to stay away from, the main killing options of Tatsu and Shuru are just a gone. bit weaker, yes. So it's a bit strange. But as you see, Streets just keeping his distance. Like, I'm not approaching you anymore because I don't need to. I have the lead. And this is honestly how I want to see the matchup being played by Streaks. But Nemi's going to have to try to just break this. This zone he's creating for himself. I understand what Streaks is going for because he hopped over and he burned his double jump. He had to land. And landing on him was not a good option. So he went for the risky air dodge. But now Nemi in the air again. Just backing off completely. Mm. You having Nemi's to land again? Oh, you managed to get it. Go ahead, focus with that one. Oh, he missed the tech. Oh. Full smash is going to take the stock. Have to tech those. You're wearing tech those. Oh, the grab. He's being fearless in his approach to the ground. Again? Again! He's catching Nemi in shield right now. He's approach with down there this time as the last few times he was in shield. He's just shield poke. <laughs> He's just in Nemi's head so much right mm. now. But that's gonna oh. take it up air, sure you cancel. But honestly, the game's actually really close now again. The damage. Oh, never mind. The damage just keeps going up. I'm gonna say, Nemi could probably take the damage in one punish, but I keep talking about Nemi's punish and he's just taking more damage. Maybe I'll talk about Streets taking damage and the opposite will happen. Oh, commentators <laughs> curse! That's crazy. Wait, wait, hold oh on. Wait, no, what, you... what have you done? Wait, this is not the curse I wanted. Calm down. <laughs> You've cursed this man. Absolutely. But that might be oh. it. Not quite. Couldn't quite get a catch. But there catches him out of the dance with smash and that ends the set. 3 2 to streaks. Very, very nail bite of a set. God damn, god damn, god damn, god damn, god damn. Almost cursed it. Almost cursed it. Right, just like that, just 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 did it. It's just saying, if that up smash got shielded, Steph lost the set there. The set was over. Would have been down tilt, down tilt. Sure you can. Would have been over. Right, looking into the current losers bracket at the moment, I mm. believe we are waiting for a set. Um, so we've got. Who's next on stream? So Darkstalk is currently in loser semi-finals. Okay. 
and we are awaiting the winner of Longo and Yusef. Yusef, I see. Yusef being zone 2 1. Stephen, Streaks and Grands. Streaks. As I said, Streaks is my favourite to win the tourney. the loser side Nemi and loser's final we're waiting on Yusuf and Longo at the moment we might be here for a while we're here to just that is that chill set out, is out. currently 12, 12 minutes in 12 minutes in and still there's no way it can't be 0-0 zero, zero, right it's, it's definitely not 0-0 zero, zero. the score hasn't been updated it's on set up 1 in the corner there oh, oh, um, but obviously we can't see the score there it is uh, I'm guessing it's going to be Snake Rob obviously unless as, as I said so chat who do you want? Who do you think is gonna win the tournament today? Type it out. Slap it in there. Let me see your answers. I really want to see Longo do a losers one, just because I want to see Streaks versus Longo. Yeah, I'm fine for that. And then Streaks win. <laughs> see the chat knows. The chat knows. What's chat saying? Wait, wait. Was that Streaks with an S? I'm very sorry. Change that to a Z. That's a Z. Can't be doing that. We've never heard of streaks. Who the, what the hell, who the hell is streaks? Streaks. streaks? streaks on them? No. Alright, I think the set has finished. We just are waiting. I believe it is. Longo has oh, won. Longo is moving, so. Longo is making Longo. moves to the stream setup. Making big moves. Mm -hmm. Speaking of Let's Make Big Moves, did you see what uh, they've done for their next tournament, Let's Make Moves Miami? I, I haven't. They have announced that there's two brackets. Two? For Ultimate. Both singles. Oh. One has Steve Band and one does not have Steve Band. <laughs> so they have literally added Ubers to Ultimate. <laughs> That's really funny. They've got Ubers and OU in Ultimate. Ubers and OU, that is crazy. <laughs> Well, when's the UU tournament? <laughs> Maybe Link will finally be viable. I think it's... Uh, they're still figuring it out, the schedule. But mm. at the moment, it might be one day for, with Steve, one day without Steve. I see. Oh! oh these two haven't, just, they they haven't played never before. played? This is going to be an absolute... I, I don't to know watch. if it, this... I imagine it would show Wi-Fi. Mm. But, um... Damn, that's, they've never played. Never. Getting into this matchup. This is going to be very interesting. Because... It's going to be very interesting because I... Like, London is not known for having any rocks. Like, we, we have had them in the past, but post-pandemic, uh, we've had nothing. New pressure needs to come back. It's come back. Yeah. Where's he? Where is he? Where is the TVL? <laughs> the TVL. But he's back to the set at hand. Let's see, first he does something to look to try it. Pressure in, pulls it in as much as he can. As we know, he's the reversal god, so... I might try to reverse some situations, but into Rob is going to be kind of hard with the projectiles yeah. such as the gyro and the laser. Oh, big back here from Longo, taking the first stock. It's really strange what Darkseid was trying to do with Gyro there. I don't know if he was trying to pick it up or just get rid of it, but he just forward tilt twice. But the, ma the dynamic in the matchup is kind of funny because... Oh! Oh, oh my god! Oh my goodness. Explosive stock from Longo. Darkseid is just lost right now. But as I was trying to say, that it's a weird dynamic in this matchup as... Even at close range, Rob still has some tools to like contest Terry's buttons. Like, he's still not overall better than Terry, but that down tilt, jab cycle right, the DI. It's really hard for Dust to face. Oh, Zombie taking it. God. The swiftest free stock. Okay. Long on the roll. So, in the start of the set, we spoke about uh, London having no robs. What experience the Dark Stalker have? Now I want to know what experience Longo has with Terry. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, what's because this isn't even Terry. He died out of that um, power dunks perfectly. Probably SDR or something. 
And we know Darkstalk is known for speedrunning speed running brackets. Why is Longhorn doing it to him? What's, what's happening here? I can't. We've got a reverse. We've got a reverse on the reversal god. He's trying to get the world record for the Dark Souls at any percent. Dark Souls at any percent. The Dark Souls, we'll see what Dark Souls has to say about that. Opening up with a swift 50%. This is a swift Longo. 80% now. But it looks like Longo might not have the knowledge on the. Oh, oh my! Okay, Dark Souls is awake. Dark Souls is now awake. Eviscerating that stock. Absolutely sending him, as his tag said. Go to hell. Sending him to hell that down there. And how will Longo deal with the Awakens Darkstalker now? 2000 APM Darkstalker. They say even Faker can't keep up with his APM. Nice ball cancel from Darkstalker to keep him safe in that recovery. But this range is what Longo literally wants to play at but until he dashed in. I just want to keep this mid range and then wait for li literally just how like Streaks was playing the matchup. Just wait for whiffs on Darkstalker's end and then punish them. Nice recovery from Darkstalker. Just find his way down. He's going to ask him if he's okay. Not quite yet. Mr. Bogart has a question ledge. for you, Longo. Very scary. Gyro's still, still active, you need to be very careful. Just a Racco Buster Wolf and Dark Soldier just knows. Can he extend his lead even more? Longo at 140, the stock is bleeding out right now. Really needs to close out the stock. But a down tilt jab jab, are you okay? That stock deleted. Oh, getting rid of the Romy there. Still an entire stop behind. To be fair, if Longo is ever just able to get just a chance to breathe, a chance to space out. Oh, let, trying to get the spike to end the stock there. That actually was very, very close to being over. But Darkstalk just explosively just keeping his leads, just extending his leads. Longo just keeps scrapping with him. And, you're not allowed to scrap with Terry. Otherwise, this happens. You trade percent for percent, and you're just going to get out damaged by these explosive moves and combos. And Dai's going to end it, the up smash. Two stock by Darkstalker. Taking it back to back. Darkstalker showing that he's not, he is not out of the set yet. He's not out of the game yet. So, saying that the game first game was entirely long. Saying game I'm the main character. Entirely Darkstalker. Highly dark still going. I'm the and main this character. This is the best of three set. This is the last. Oh yeah, it's best yeah. of three. This is losing yeah. semis. I think I think Dark Stalker really just wanted the anime comeback in this situation. Like I'm down a game. Time to bring it back. But here we go into the final game. PS2 again. Neither of them back down. Back to the same stage again. Let's see if Longo is able to play out a more effective game plan, or will Dark Stalker keep scrapping with this robot? Right now he's getting oh opened my up. Oh gosh, I if thought that, that was going to be an up B there. That power dunk hit. He might have still died off the top unless he had like perfect AI outwards. But not B, yeah, definitely would have taken it. But if he whiffed, it could have been reversal. So I guess Stark's not going to play a bit safe. It's just crack shoot. But Stark's not getting get caught out by these gyros off, off stage anymore, which is a very nice adaptation from game one. That's just thrown out these buttons right now. No punish on it. And to call out with the up B. You are not allowed to as a no fly zone. Yeah. Along with just unable to get pressure back or unable to just like get alleviate from this pressure. But that laser doing wonders for the stage control. I feel like a lot of Dark Souls play now is he's playing around uh, the Nair. Because in that first game, that was a lot of what Longo's control was with, with that oh. Nair. I, I think Lucretia would have got that. Just Lucretia would have got Lucretia that. Got that. But that's going to take it the up B off the top. We got the second stop. As you see, Dark Souls is at 65, but that just means he's that much closer to goal. And bridging this gap. Won't be, there should be a few punishes. That crack is very risky, as that can happen right there. 
Mungo is sadly unable to capitalize more off of that. Joey's online. Oh, skips the ledge. Oh, the Ooh. gyro. Gyro getting in the way, but he's going to take another one. No. Oh, he fell out. A power dunk. No. But that rotor arm's going to take it. Too many buttons being Too pressed. Too many buttons. His APM can sometimes be his boon, but sometimes also be his bane as he loses that stock. Just like Dark Phoenix, maybe the APM was too much to control, too much to handle. Oh, and then to side B, how do you get back to stage though? But this game is still far from over. If Dark could just scrap with this robot a bit more, as we've seen now, scrap a bit more, get him to last stock and then have goal, this could literally be anyone's game. But right now, Longo has a pretty decent lead. Big power dunk. The burn knuckle and there is go. Go is online. Double down tilt. Oh, expecting the, the muscle off. But is DI? That is not there, unfortunately. And that's going to be 2 1 to Longo. Very Move back perfectly, just like one mm. step back. Had the read. So, uh, at the end there, in that last couple of stocks. Mm. Longo just started hitting a lot more nets. A lot more. Dark Souls just got very impatient. Yeah, he's just playing the mid range a bit better and with punishing Dark Souls buttons. And especially, li literally at the end, with like a huge whiff punish on the Buster Wolf, which yeah. took the set. Like, he, didn't, he didn't roll away, he didn't oh. dash away. <laughs> he just, just walks. Just, just, uh, I'm just moonwalk backwards. I'm gonna take my little stroll back, come to me. Oh, yep, you're here. Now you can go to the sky. So, so I do believe now that is... Darkstalker's tag was go to hell, but Longo sent him to heaven. Sent him to the skies. So we do have a run back now. Do you have We're a going to have uh, Nemi. Nemi against Nemi. Longo. Longo. Nemi! Stream! 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 Yeah! I don't know where the RTOs are. They're all busy being grinders. So, so, so when, the com when the commentators and the TOs, that's crazy. It's crazy. Man. Do everything around her. Apart from do the stream, that is all I am. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> one back, one winner side. Oh, Urfan. I, I was just about to go update the bracket and I saw Urfan has just done it uh, mid friendlies. Oh, <laughs> I just saw the laptop right in front of you. Yeah, I'll, I'll quickly update it. set um, it was possible so there's now a clip of the entire of the first set the entire of the first game of that uh, Longo Dogs on the set it fits all into one clip the entire set game that is crazy that's crazy entire game Darkstalker got Darkstalker that's what he does to other players we have a new time for the Darkstalker any percent <laughs> But, as I was saying, getting into this matchup, Ryu versus Rob, we have spoken on it earlier, can Nemi get the punches he needs at close range? Three, yes, two, no. one, go! He did catch a lot of the last game, but... Oh, 
opening up lots of shafties. Oh, the oh. A bit too ambitious with that side B. Now Nemi has all the stage control again. This is the time to close up the space. And he's just giving it up. Giving it up, but he got damage, so. Does it really matter? Like, random sure you. I think you're trying to get the gyros on with a fair, fair hit fair into the gyro and then continue from there. But a nice even game at the moment. And he that up to oh, up here into up here sure you taking the stock. That's insane. How do you have these air combos? He doesn't have really, he doesn't have these Street Fighter. Maybe in Marvel. The sneakiest okay. back here. That was sneaky sneaky with that back here. Nowhere. Crazy. Sussy there. Pulling three minutes in into space. <laughs> but Longo, Longo just like. Honestly, he's just safely putting out these like hitboxes, fading back so like Nemi can't punish him too hard. Nemi's only really able to throw out Shaku's till he finds a good enough opening, but Longo's just not giving it to him. Oh, never mind, I lied. Nemi's just playing perfectly about the gyro. Mm, just taking his time. Oh, I think that should have been a task soon. But maybe simple or I don't know. Nemi's just playing very safe, just not taking too much damage. Just keeping himself, keeping himself safe, as you guys can know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, so funny. I'm uh, also the issue. Playing uh, safe gameplay. I'm just so happy to be here now. <laughs> Looking at this, uh, this exceptional gameplay. Exceptional gameplay. Nemi's just playing, playing the, as I said, playing the neutral, playing the moving wall of pain very well. on this damage very quickly already at 81 in the final stock it's been like 20 seconds uh, and the gyro bit for the get up attack it's dead in the third box a gyro just gonna leave you in so much mm. end lag that's gonna end in the back here huge game one to Nemi that was really strong man. Like the, we saw don't want to go back to Dark Souls but we saw what Mongo was doing in that set, just yeah. Nair and Gyro and Dark Souls didn't know what he was doing. Yeah, I think Longo Nemi, was just... Nemi's playing around it perfectly, just yes. shielding and using uh, Hadoukens, Tatsu, to destroy the Gyro. Yeah, completely agree. I don't know, I did like Longo's use of like, fair and air at times where you'd fade in with the fair and fade out, or fade in with the fade out. But I guess overall we just kept getting caught a bit too much. Yeah, he he, uh, he kind of needs to be mixing up a bit. Mm. Similar to what we saw with uh, Streaks in Nemi's game, where Streaks was changing up, going for Nair, forward air, down air. But Bob doesn't have that possibility as much as the multi here. Let me even explore the opening. 0% to 56, well now 6%, but still a lot of damage. Don't think Longo wants to be above Nemi because he can't eat up airs into Shoryu, which is not a place you want to be in. Even right now, it could potentially kill. As you saw, Nemi trying to snipe with that up air. Misses. Longo at ledge, how will he get out? Jumps over. And yeah, look, look. As soon as Longo holds like mid range, even though Rob's not like the strongest strength at the like. As soon as he holds mid range into Ryu, he's like strong at short and like long range. Just able to like get small pops as he can. As soon as he's close, as we saw there, big back. Something I am noticing with Nemi though is like, oh, when he knows that Gyro's out and it's not a possibility for Longo to use it, he's going very aggressive. Because that is his time to get him with our really fast burst like gyro coming out. Like gyro is impossible and he's just going for like a lot more riskier play. I can't 
But anyway, back to back to this. Uh, maybe on final stock. Game two. Yeah, um, I missed it to do it. I don't know. Really good. Uh, trying to cross the stage with him. Good job with him back on stage. Very good adaptation from. Again, a long gone. As you see, just bit, as I said, playing this mid range is so much better than the first game. Let's get too scrappy. Oh, nice catch on that landing. Like that, like I want to see what, if if Nemi can do anything with Gyro here. It'd be very interesting. If he's alive to see uh, the tunnel. Gets him out of this oh <laughs> not out of enough. You got him out of disadvantage just to be sent back into another. <laughs> and a bear will take that game. One one between them. Will we see a change of stage? Will we see a change of pace? Will we see a see change of character? Will we see a change of character? I don't think we're gonna see a change of character. But maybe, 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 maybe. So we going into game three and we're going to the stage. Town and city. The game, the stage he dominated streaks in. But will we see that? And, and I think. Even against Lombo, not really good. But as we come back to the stage, I think definitely one of Nemi's preferred stages because he's, I think he's won on this stage every time. But them two just scrapping, trading percent back and forth. See Lombo going, going for a few gyro nairs, trying to prove maybe I can be like Lou. Maybe. <laughs> so good. Maybe I can get ZZ LSEs. Two gonna be. Let's get the mix. Yeah, at least survives. It's too soon and keeps him alive. But let me just try to get in again. A bit of a really back in front of gets a punish there. Well, in a dangerous position now. That was said. Let me in disadvantage at the moment. I'm actually get the kit attack here and turn the situation, I'm actually take center stage. Forward tilt. Yeah, as you see, look, Longo just literally take, taking the space he needs. Just not staying there the wall of pain, not scrapping with this with this big muscly guy. Not, not scrappy. Let's see as gets close. FGC special, if they're at kill percent, just fish for back air. <laughs> oh my! Oh my goodness! Oh. That would have been his stock deleted if he hit that forward smash. I feel like would have deleted his soul. Soul Switch Happiness is punishable in this nice forward to push Chinese. But let me back in disadvantage, how would he get out? Oh, managed to jump out of the upper, just barely. Gonna get some damage here. Down to Tatsu. But Rob has a land here, which can be quite hard. Oh, but gets caught by a down tilt. That shouldn't kill you, though. But good air dodge, kill. but unfortunately, you are trapped in that situation. You cannot do anything. Longo forcing Nemi to use all of his reasons there, trying to get back to the stage. Very good edge guard from Longo and Josh Miller Tiles. Down tilt jump on the 13. And yeah, look. I love how Longo's just weaving in, weaving out, weaving in, weaving out. Just not allowing Nemi to like get a good close footing in the matchup. But I do want to see Nemi just slowly creep up if possible. Just get a read on the move. Oh my. Just like that. Got the up there, faded out, faded in. Perfect up there. Yeah, sure. Take uh, the stock. Take the stock. He's got a lot of work to do. A fair amount of what to do, the double down tilt, just dragging him across the stage slowly but surely. And Reese the jump with an up smash. Hasn't done that the whole set, but just 
Longo just knew. He's like, that's the first one I should have seen in this. said, you will set. jump now. And he jumped and it was over. Nemi was definitely not keeping himself safe right there. A very unsafe jump into the Going smash. back to Tanner City again here. There was something that Nemi did at the start of the game, and he was trying to mess around with the gyro, trying to pick it up, but he failed three times in a row. And Longo just kind of stood there and just watched it happen. Mm. But into game four, back to Can Longo keep up the evasive maneuver? Doing gameplay, or will Nemi close in? Blast him with his buttons. Can he slow down his play quite a bit here? Yeah, yes, they both slow down. And as I said, Nemi's just looking for a way to get in, so rushing in is definitely not the way. Slow it down a bit. Definitely more preferable, but it does benefit both of them in some way. But it benefits both of them, both of them depending on the range they're standing at. Yeah, hi there. I like that high recovery yeah. from Nemi. But nice to take the mix. Nice DI, yeah. fantastic DI. They're still very, very close. Three stocks each, both very high percent, both bleeding right now. Oh, Beautiful Jarrell's on right there. <laughs> a trade of down tools between the characters. Rob vs FGC is really battle of the down tools, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, let me just try to force his way in right now. See, dashing forwards. What is it. this? Instead of going for the jab lock, he just went for the third down tilt to just lock him out of it. But I did that, that was so much damage from like 50 to 100. Real quick. Didn't get the gyros on he wanted, but still continued the uh, situation nonetheless. Oh, the parry? Sure, you're not going to take it. I don't think that was true for you, but I feel like Nemi didn't do it in case it whiffed. Or well, at least he didn't do the heavy version. And then he just gave up the ledge there, just trying to go and mess around with the gyro. Mm. That really didn't kill. Again, doing it again, just trying to pick up the gyro and just... Yeah, I dies for it. Should just kept the pressure up. Leech just lost that stock just because he failed to pick up the gyro once. Mm. Like, I, look, I like what he was doing before where he's just like kind of landing on gyro and shielding it. Mm. Just to remove it. I think that's the best way to play with Gizjaro. Oh, oh, I think he would jump side B, but I didn't quite get it. That would down tilt again. Down tilt. Triple down tilt into re grab. Didn't get it. has not learned that he needs to take those. Yeah, but it's hard because you have to be really aware of it. And the swift back here taking to the final stop. 101%. Demi definitely has a wall to climb, but catching that jump. DI oh. again. Really good. Back. Can he do it here? And nah. that's going to be game, that is GG's 3-1 to Longo, we are into Grand Finals! Grand Finals. Streaks versus Longo. That was amazing, amazing. I've got my wish from Longo, just of Longo versus Streaks happening. Yeah, but happens, yeah. happening. I'm going to have to depart now. Depart? Oh. Great oh. commentating with you. <laughs> Goodbye. Catch you later, catch you later. And again. It's stuck with me, yeah. As we get into grand finals, it's going to be Longo versus Streaks. The Streaks preps himself. And Longo wearing the <laughs> headphones absolutely ridiculously. 
It's making me, making me laugh though, the headphones on heads, too, too, too funny. I mean, if it works, it works. And finals, yes sir. The streaks versus a long go. I'm gonna be a bit biased for streaks. I do want streaks to win, but let's the best player win as we get to the first set of grand finals. You haven't played before, what? Yo. But in this matchup, bro, I want to see streaks rush him down, applying pressure, not letting this robot to breathe. But yes, Rob does have the down tilt to. Keep him at bay, at that range. Longo probably looking to play a little bit further away, but again has to be aware of the reflector from Fox as well. He down tilt comes into play immediately. Catching the side view of the zone side view, but taking the stop really swiftly. Cross up on the down there from the streaks. Supplying the pressure now. How long will we get out of this one? It's nice, he fades away if he's the platform. <laughs> it's crazy, you could be between the pressure. Oh my gosh. He died there. Oh, streaks trying to scout out what option Longo is going to take there. But Longo just really just. Understanding these approaches which are taken and catching these Fox of stage every time. Capitalizing on the weak recovery of Fox. I'm actually really liking that. But she Longo's just dancing around dancing around Fox. That's actually really impressive with how much mobility the character has. Then they're asked to take the fact the first stop with a huge, huge, huge mountain to climb. Streaks here being a stop down and up a fair amount of percent. But can definitely use the rest of this game. It's information. Still has a huge amount of fight left in him. Oh, dropping the gyro off stage, I really like that. It's removing it from play completely rather than having to mess around with it. And now Longo needs to land. Oh, no punish on the down there. Nice read on the spot dodge. Still not giving Longo any space to breathe, but Streak slowly adapted to the gameplay. Like the first one to be the first two stops to be an explosive, but Longo's not finding many opportunities where he's finding Streak's in disadvantage. Nice reflector. A nice cross up on the down there. Still a very hard situation. Ooh, catching the jarrow with the head dodge. There, the strong hit there, taking the stop. And that will be game one to long go. From the Team Galactic music, this song's an absolute banger on the track. W for long goal. But as we get into game two of this set, 
what I want to see from Streaks is, I don't know, a bit a bit more patience off stage. Try not to get capitalized too much in that, that situation. It's hard, but it's possible. But I feel like Streaks is usually a slow burner when it comes to sets. He usually uses the first game to learn a bit, doesn't come out explosive all the time. But towards the end of the first game, he was playing like everything a lot better, just getting more used to Longo's habits and what he usually does in the show. But Longo's still opening up Streaks' his approaches right now, he's playing, playing defense right now. But whenever he gets this wrong, he has to go through the Fox Gauntlet. Oh, that was a nice catch from the gyro. Now Streaks is in a very bad situation. Luckily, he managed to get out. A little whiff on Longo's ends. Doesn't quite get the confirm he wants. Goes back to legend. I really like that he went back to legend and didn't jump forward. Because jumping forward would have been having to take a read of a mix. I'm probably taking the stock. You've got to wear this on the platform position. Ah. A read, but no dice. Oh, barely out of range. Longo just playing just barely out of the range. Streaks these, but the third read. Fool me once, fool me twice, but not the third time. Not getting hit by the Osmash taking the stop. Huh? That was intentional? Wow. The little wedge from Longo to go for that side B. Fox barely hanging on, even though even that the low percent of like 50. And that parry is it gonna be huge. Oh, Longo jumping out. Is Death capitalizing on these jumps? Just keep him trying to push the advance as much as possible. Where this is where Streaks flourishes right now. Pushing, just pushing an advantage. So strong at doing it. But Longo just playing back, trying to literally stop the pressure that's supposed to happen. He get the spike? Sour spot. Streaks takes it, stays alive, but. I'm oh, gonna take the start. Longo keeping the lead, just playing a really nice defensive game. I really like this for Longo. Totally true what's happening, Levi. What's going on? Hey, we're just. Oh, <gasps> he's dead! Oh! He's dead! He's dead! Drop into the freaking side B. And that is game two over. Longo sweeping through this at he, the moment. He's warmed up, man. He's, he's warmed up, but I said, compared, compared to game one, Streaks is waking up a little bit. But I really do like the defensive play that Longo's like doing, just playing a playing a bit back, waiting for Streaks to approach, just just taking it taking it at his own pace. Mm. And that's really important because like Fox is so good at dictating the pace of the game because of how fast he is, his burst range. Mm. Longo's been able to throw out the hitbox in the right way to keep him out, and he has to because look how much damage he's taking when he when yeah. he gets opened up, seventy percent for like four up heads, man. <laughs> and you can't and just escape. Keep going. Yep. Good heavens. And Longo's been keeping this out for two games so far. Two. Just one more for the reset. One more for the reset. Well, Wolf Streaks let that happen. Never goes down without a fight. Longo just stuck at this ledge right now. Even taking the back here. I mean, so content to stay at ledge. Hold that center stage. It's such it's a confident Nice to land. Kind of, kind of scrapping here. Needs a kill. Expecting a jump, but instead longer takes out. And now, oh, now no. to land. You have to be so careful here. The dash down a kill. A Firefox kill, Firefox man. Kill. Not if Longo was Wait. Okay, sorry. I, I see a, like a nair hit with Jaron hand and you think it's over. <laughs> Not quite. Good but Longo looking a bit like desperate for that side B there. He sees the immediate re reward. It's like, I, if I get this right, I kill it at 66%. Yes. But uh, Streaks has adapted really well. Like, he's stopped doing illusions into the side, mm. which, which Longo has previously been getting uh, uh, the side Bs on. Yes. The only issue is once you start up being low, you risk getting down spikes, which Longo was doing right there. Ooh, tech situation, not rolling in, just getting up, attacking. Didn't quite get the read there, absolutely. But Longo back at ledge, it's really hard for Rob to get out of because Fox just covers it so well. And oh, Nelly snipes the stock with that charge for S-Smash. A little bit more charge and it could have been over. Streaks looking very aware at ledge. However, he may just die. Gyro at ledge and there. Not in danger of killing at the moment. 
Longo really fishing for these gyro nairs at the moment, but not quite getting it. Cool oh my gosh, cool out the jump from ledge. That was a jump jump to ledge that got skipped by the up smash. That is and I don't incredible. think I've seen him do a jump to ledge like this set yet. Streaks has come alive, man. Absolutely, read there as well. He wants that reverse free oh. Wants the reverse free oh, absolutely. I always say Steph's a slow burner. It takes the first few games to like get the knowledge he needs, then he just applies it. Longo just unable to play slowly anymore. He's able, unable to fade back and do what he's doing the, the previous few games because Steph's just approaching, just, just playing a bit different. He's just, he's just different. Mm. He's just starting to win these these RPS situations just more consistently. The, that, as he said, the download is, is, is there. He's, he's warmed up. He's actually trying to cook this robot, man. It, it, like, cool Longo's just getting suffocated again. here. And now he's uh, read the mix there. Just the slight drift back on the net to avoid getting hit. And but the, the net down smash. down smash. Not enough though. Ro Longo's still in this. What a tomahawk grab. Can he secure this edge guard? Gonna have to cover high. Streak's gonna keep doing that to avoid recovering to ledge. Oh, we've got Wait for the roll in. in. This is such good, good advantage state. Nearly gets the back air. Steph can't pick up Ooh. the gyro. It doesn't matter because he gets the up smash. smash. Nice. So that was a really good game for Streaks. I actually really like the down smash he did because I think he actually didn't have enough time to get up smash out in that situation. So just took what he could get. And he still even nearly got the stock off of that anyway. Just a few percent off. He knows his confirmed, man. Does know his confirmed. Such mastery over, over the character. I'm very excited for this set. 2 1 at the moment. Longo just needs one more for the reset. For the reset. But can he do it? Can he get that game in before Streaks can, like, just um, fully adapts and starts just, like, oppressing Longo? Like, Longo has started off well by, like, um, walling Streaks out, but it, he, he has to give up a lot of space to do so. And Streaks just approaches very slowly and then just opens you up, dissects you uh, once, once he finds that juicy uh, starter. Absolutely. And, yeah, I feel like... Longo just needs to look for a way to slow down the game, but Streaks is going to make that as hard as possible for him, for him to get his objective. But right now, Longo's doing really well. Really good. Really actually actually managed there. to slow down the game. Yeah. Playing a bit further back, but with no stage, it gets very tough. Yeah, there's nothing here at the moment, man. Gerald's the down, he's at ledge. Streaks just Ooh. so ambiguous when he's like moving around ledge, not, not giving Longo a, a pattern to... Cool yeah. out. He's going for that that read there, like trying to catch the jump hit and jumps uh, across uh, ledge. Oh, but just gets a read of him, just trying to expect to punish on the back here. Immediate art smash, but it gets scooped straight back by Longo. The kind stage of. control that Jaro has got, man, so potent. And um, Streaks struggling to pick it up and gets clicked by it, gets back at. Sometimes it's not worth to go for the Jaro because situations like that can happen where it's like, might be best to just leave the Jaro. Oh no, you oh, might die here. Really bad. Oh, Ooh, a bit too early because of the delay from the laser. Yeah, it was a really good angle from Streaks though. Otherwise, he's down edge. That's very risky. He could have died at zero. Yes. Streaks looking for something here. Not really at, in a position to kill Longo at the moment, but the percent is rising. Put back. He's gonna send off stage. Well, with Streaks, if anybody's gonna find a kill out of anywhere, it's literally him. <laughs> As we see, the up air scoops him out of the sky and sends him to the heavens. Good Longo Lord, man. desperate for this stock, going immediately for uh, arm rotor. He is known for a bit of robbery, but Streak <laughs> has defended himself very well here. Absolutely. Streak's just literally just maneuvering around Rob's horror mobility a lot better. Just, and just choosing just choosing better. Just choosing the better buttons in the situation compared to the first and second game. Using the information he's got from them two games to press a better button. And oh my gosh, this pressure! And another catch on that jump past ledge with the dash tag. Not going to lead to a kill, but you can see that he's exerting so much oh. dominance. He nearly died from that gyro zone. And that might be... Oh! Oh. For so something. in control. Just held, held shield because in that situation, if you're going to get out smashed, at least holding the shield, you don't die to a grab. And just cool them out on the nair. Just gone. The download is complete, man. The Look download might be complete. That's such a belligerent up, up smash to go for. Knowing that he's gonna go for that net, knowing he's got he's got he's got invincible legs, those metal just, just metal knew. boots. Just knew. That flipped him to take that, that game. Could we be seeing the reverse 3-0 here? The reverse free, the, the the streaks classic, the reverse 3-0. As we go into the final game, 
Can Longo find a way to slow down this game? You see him pandering in the player cam right there. If he can find a way to slow it down, maybe he can tear a game from this beast that it streaks. Longo hasn't been able to get the, the juicy combos, like the combos that he had in game game two, at least. Like no there's been no like gyro air robbery to kill uh, two. Like and he Longo realizes how much that helps him. For example, it's why he's like setting off stage, trying to set up edge guard situations which could lead to the stops. The streaks is choosing the options which like sort of deny the zero to death, like going for a high illusion. Um, and that means he stays alive just a little bit longer. Also, I really like when Streets recovered and he did illusion into the stage but faded back to bait Longo into going back close to center stage while he took ledge. Yeah, that, that's a really good point. So ambiguous is, um, is Streaks in this advantage. Has to be very careful. Longo's done a really good job, good job of using that gyro zone, able to send Streaks into it. Streaks not even real, uh, realizing it was there, struggling <laughs> to pick it up. And even when he gets it, the, the laser just sh shoots it right back. Pulling out that jump with that there. That's so good. Catching start up like that is so nice. Expecting the, the air dodge away, not going to hit though. Streaks going through these high recoveries quite often now. I wonder if Longo will catch on, catch on to them. You have to commit very hard to it though. Mm. And Longo is not not willing to do that. He's looking, trying to stay as safe, Ooh, even if he's not getting that right. Back These backers are so scary, man. That, that was it. He could have just pulled the trigger, done, gone up for the backflip, but not trusting that it would hit. And the doesn't matter. Just sniping yeah. him. Yeah. Out that laser. Doesn't matter if he doesn't get the up smash. He can just get position advantage, get those hits in. Back for off stage. Snipes. I'm very happy he stuffed it in air dodge there. Yeah, just hasn't burned resources. any resources. Exactly. When it's needed. And dies from the top to down there. <laughs> but if you're, uh, you're, you're Fox and living to that percent against Rob, you're doing very well for yourself. You're making mm. Longo work so much harder than he was before. Scary stuff though. Back to scrapping situations. Rob does not like these that much, especially into the beast that is Fox. Which is very fast, lightning fast buttons. Mm. I'm, I'm loving the cross ups from Streaks as well, catching Rob where he can't really hit that hard. Gyro in hand. Oh, no, no, Gyro. Where'd it go? I thought he had it. Oh, well. yeah, yeah, wait, yeah, he did have it. Yeah, Where did it go? Where did it go? Who knows? Slight of hand, man. The, the trip, trip on the gyro. On gyro. That could have been huge. But yeah, look, Longo just, like, I really liked what he did. He just spaced him out, putting hitboxes where he thinks Streaks is going to be in the situation to just stuff out his approaches. That and their hitbox is abhorrent, man. Really oh, and a gyro zone down smash? Is that going to take the stock? It is. Barely. I f he lived, but he somehow hurt my shit himself. I feel like he done. maybe he just had to like not jump in this situation. I'm not too sure. Oh, as long as trying to cheese out that stock right there with the gyro. There's no jump here. This is scary. Jo jump is sniped. The down is going to take it. Take, take the, the reset. Stock. We get the reset. Textbook resource elimination mm. from Longo there. Recognize that the jump was caught. The jump out hit someone was taken. Sends off stage, catches catches any attempt to get into stage, mm. forces a, um, a Firefox, slows him down with the gyro and catches the downer. Incredible. And he needed that. He needed that robbery because you know how, how well Streaks is playing here, uh, LDR. Yeah, trying to slow down his momentum that he had throughout that set that he came up with. But this honestly just gives Streaks more games to build that back up. Or even on the flip side, maybe Longo's might, might just slow down this lightning paced Fox. One thing that I didn't get to talk about in the last set, but Gyro, uh, Longo made really good use of Gyro, the Gyro zone, getting Fox in between. There's no jump. Force the it's, the... it's the drift backs that you pointed out, LDR. Like, the, the illusion high, making Longo try and cover center stage and drift back to just get back in while getting hit. Really good stuff. Really good ambiguity on the recovery. You have to be high recovery, going unpunished, but still not able to make it into the corner. The illusion Ooh. snipes. Arm oh, has lingered for that long. Why? Did very, did it very early, but all, all he needed was the last hit, and got more than that. So Longo is playing so well, it's very well to the max. Streaks is making him work for it, but Longo's putting in that work. Yeah, absolutely. But back at the ledge is where Longo is going to struggle the most. Getting off this ledge is hard. Like you can see, I, I'm, I'm so impressed by Longo's play. Knowing like when, when the down tilt's not leading to anything true and just dashing back, taking stage. Gyro zone set up once Gyro. again. So much, so, so much damage. damage. Just annihilating streaks at the moment. Looking for the weight, looking for illusion. There we go. Illusion cover it again. Right arm rotor, oh. another stock. That was Textbook perfect. edge garden. That was perfectly played by Longo. Just and it, capitalizing on this disadvantage is so hard. So, so hard. 
it's so good, man. And he's just like delaying the gyro shot, catching the illusions like when Streaks is delaying his his illusion. It's just incredible edge guarding from Longo. This is such good gameplay for him, showing why he's one of the best in Germany, one of the best in Europe. Streaks firing back, he needs to find a reverse free stock here, he needs to find the stock. Back air at Lidgewood, maybe do it here, see it's coming out, Ooh, baiting the aggression, nice. punching the other punch. Brilliant stuff. And opened up, only getting the gyro dash attack for 16, still finding corner of pressure, a lot of damage coming out here. Longo taking his time, and it's allowed him back into the corner for really well. I feel like he needs to, especially on the corner, as just the pressure Streaks have put in the corner, I think that's where he's getting like a lot of his conversions, a lot of his damage from. Just pushing, pushing the percent higher and higher from the ledge. Jump another again, catch. another death. No, the, the, the Firefox saved him that time. Mm. That could have been death though. But Streets just stop getting caught out of these jumps like, off the ledge. Maybe he's to. That one was different though. The reverse Actually, I, just, I just think Longo's just catching on to his delays when he's not delaying. And just throwing at the perfect time. Exactly. It feels like there's nothing Streets can do. Longo just seems to know every single time. Mm. But Streaks brought this back to a last final stock situation. Stop from three stocks to final stop. This is like one good good neutral win from. One good neutral win, it'll be like. Jar his own death. But that's going to be over for Does not spots. get a chance. Yes, double down till. Gyro. Gyro. Visa. That is game one to Longo. I th that's what sets Longo apart from all the other obstacles. Mm. The, his Jar usage as a stage control tool, just able to sound, sandwich himself in between. Um, but get get hit the opponent between the gyro and the rob, and just suddenly start sticking out, sticking those arms out, getting his down tilts, sending him back and forth, ping ponging until he's ready to release, ready to take a stock, man. Mm. Really good stuff. But what one see from Steph is just a bit more ambiguity on the ledge, just trying to get through these projectiles, stopping him from recovery. But that is a lot easier said than done, especially with a player as good as Longo. If, yeah, if, but if, you're right though, it feels like more often than not the jump is taken and like more that. often than not, <laughs> Streaks is... loses his stock. He went off stage once, man, and he died. <laughs> That's the name of the game. He, like, maybe there's nothing you can do as, as Streaks and you just have to pray to whatever god he, you believe in and, and just avoid getting sent off the stage in the first place. But Streaks getting a lot of damage at ledge, as I was talking about last game. Ledge is just the place Streaks just racks up most of his damage. Either, on a, either a string on the stage or at ledge, you just start bleeding out. As you see, Longo just can't get off ledge. Longo's Taking been, more yeah. and more damage. He's been in the corner for like a full 30 seconds, man. Mm -hmm. He went from like 40 to 111. That's why Longo's sort of content to... What, oh. down smash? And it takes it barely, nice. Very good stuff I like the way Streaks did to see what option he's going to take before committing to an option. Because there was no tech, the down smash was enough. Yeah. He did the jab as like as a, as, a, as a check on the on the re, on the miss tech and the tech in place, and then he's able to cover the roll and reaction. Yes. Back for off stage, no high recovery, stalling. I like that he held a shine for just a little bit like long enough. It's such a risky game though. Longo has shown that it, that's not necessarily safe. But as long as recovery. yeah, so long as Streaks isn't getting hit out of the illusion, he will survive. You can do something here. I guess Fox doesn't have the best options and he has to just sort of be content of taking a little bit of uh, damage from the ledge. Mm. The streaks is playing as safe as possible because you know, he knows if he gets hit, he could just die. Baiting out this aggression from Longo because Longo sees the opportunity for a kill. And what can he do here? Aggressive option from ledge saving him here. Streaks, wait, wait, you don't want to do that. Why do, what did the gyro to do to you? Why did he do that? hated that gyro. The gyro went away. And the gyro snipe, the laser, did not want that gyro to keep himself safe, apparently. Long as putting the gyro away to allow him to shoot it back out again. That's really good stuff. 52% is, is, is okay, but Longo knows he could have taken a stop there. And it's given Streaks another window in. 70%. Streaks just unable to, like, find his way in. He's holding just the range well. That up smash hit from so far away. This is, so, this is very doable for Streaks, but he has to play pretty much perfectly. Exactly. Words right out of my mouth. And he's found the advantage. How he can he push it? Extension a bit too hard on the dash attack. And now it's dicey. Really good there. It's a land Gyro out. zone! Oh. But the down tilt sent too high. Fine. Longo's desperate. Really wants to kill. Does not want to make it. He wants to make it 2-0, not 1-1. Not one, one. Because 1-1 one, one makes this a lot harder. 
So Streets, Streets is game. powering through right now. Exactly. Not so giving him an opening. Dancing. That was an opening. If, he, if Olonga pulled the trigger on the old smash, that was the game. Doesn't matter though. Found the advantage. This could Ooh, be that's death. Bad. That's going to be death. 2-0. The Olonga. fair right there. I think Streets wanted to hold the ledge, but the fair just made him unable to. So not grab the ledge. And Longo saw that win that was presented to him and just perfectly timed that down there. 2-0 again, man. 2-0 again. Streets has an uphill battle versus this Rob. These games have been so good. I'm, I'm very, very I'm good. loving this. Very stuff. happy we got this amazing gameplay to watch. This could be the final one here, though. Longo needs game. one more. And he takes that money mark to number 260. We've seen Streets has the potential. He, he knows he can adapt. He can get so much. He just has to play his cards right, have the advantage, just go the way he likes. He, needs, he has to play so consistently well. It's not like long, where Longo gets the right the right read, like three times to take a stock. Streaks is getting like, like it's like ten times in a row. And even though he's been getting like a very high success rate on that, you have to be able to take that to the max and take the stock from it. Like Longo, take only taking 108%, 117. But he will take that as opposed to just dying outright. The streaks is just gonna keep him in the corner. Look at this. Finally gets the chance to play the game. But at the moment he does. Look at the fear. Look at the fear from Longo. It's literally he's just waiting for him to do something. And Longo having to just not make the wrong choice. But it's so hard when a fox is that close. And the back air going to take the start. For once, the first back air kills. Also, I'm very happy for that. I really like how Streaks is covering Longo and making aggressive options off ledge. And just like, I feel like you get enough fair amount of his stocks just from covering them, just knowing when Longo's going to go for a fair, a laser or a gyro off ledge, just stuffing out with a back air or off smash. So good. It, may, it means Longo has to... He can't go for those reversals. Oh, a lot of damage here. Jab damage reset, there. dash attack. Oh, misses the bear slightly. I think if he got that bear, he would have been able to get another dash attack into, like, something else. And it hits those, like, non-tumble hit stun combos, which is normally so good at, but it's a rare flub. Maybe the pressure's getting to him. He knows he can't afford to mess up. I think so many rolls have earned. Really Ooh, good angle. Angle was so good. And it's given Streaks another lease on life. An opportunity for, for a stock. Really critical trade there. Longo kind of panicking at the moment. Sitting and chilled a little bit a bit too long. Ooh. But it works out. Streaks not oh, getting the turn around on the grab. Yeah. And he gets up for his troubles. Longo has shown how much he can get from, from these Ooh. low percent combo starts as well. Grab. I like that. Well, both projectors are out for Longo. It's going to be hard for him to like apply pressure now while they're both on cooldown. Yeah. Streaks are getting better at catching the gyro and like mm. mitigate, like nullifying the gyro zone. Down air, not getting the launcher hit. Yes. Oh, but he's... Get managed to get his jump back. That back here going to take it? Not quite. Still a lot of good but Longo at ledge, oh, barely whiffed. It's that back air pressure at ledge, very scary stuff. We had to read, but slightly misplaced. Gyro zone! Gyro zone! Didn't even need Ooh. it! Longo just needs one more one stock, more stock and he takes Meltdown. Can he close it out? Can Streaks needs this stock, finds oh, the parry down stock. Stock. last stock. He needs one to stay alive here. <gasps> Streaks holding Oh no, don't the die! <laughs> Went for the higher recovery. Went for the high recovery again. He's going to keep doing it. Lesser of two evils. He'll want to stay alive. Finds an opening. 48% for three moves. Gyro out is gone. Gyro shot out. Nair Gyro at ledge. Ooh, Send that it backwards. So scary for streaks. <laughs> if that, gyro, that, if that drop Gyro hit, it, would, it might have been over. It really might have. But Longo's cooking. The, oh. Brilliant dash attack. The Gyro's dash damage. Attack so, so tense here. Tense Gets the Nair. Doesn't get the fair. This is where the nerves come out. This is where the situation gets very tense. Desperation from both sides. Gyro zone in play. Gyro zone, Gyro zone in play. play. I really like that Streets didn't even try to go for the Gyro because it was too risky in a situation like this. No, he caught the Gyro, got to get there for his troubles. Longo desperation, miss input gy Gyro reverse. Down tilt, roll through. That's it. Oh, Up tilt, up at the cuts. No, no, how are they still alive? <laughs> The back, the back gonna end is going to do it. No, I don't think it it's is. Not, it is oh, going to do it. it. It's going to take him and go to our game four. My heart, man. He cannot take this. But Streets just teamed himself barely in as we go to a game four. Can. 
<laughs> I'm surprised that back killed. I'm so used to it just not not doing his job. There was a bit of doubt at the end, right? Like, it was. Like, 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 is, he, is, he, is, he, is he alive? Is he, is, he, is he dead? What's happening here? I'm glad Steph got that game just so I get more of this Grand Finals. Oh, this, this is, is so good. Grand Finals. What a god Hey, we go that that could have gone either way, man. Game four. Whoever holds their nerves, whoever gets the right hits in. Mm. Like, he could, like, Streaks could have died so many times. Oh. He, like, ended off, off stage and longer got the right read, but he, he stayed in it. Yeah, but Streaks has to, like, Streaks can't allow it to get that close if he wants to stay in and win this tournament. Yes. I agree. But Longo right now just keeping him walled out with these hitboxes. I like that he's pressing there slightly early before Streaks makes the approach. Just to catch him jumping, because he hit. Because his jumping approaches are quite strong. Ooh, I don't know if you wanted that smash, but he'll take that. He'll take the damage he gets. It continues to rise. I feel like if the game stays even, I feel like Streaks is dealing with the nerves a little bit better than Longo. Because we've seen Longo from a fair amount of things. So even Streaks just keeping the game even, I think it's doing a lot more for him than vice versa. Because Streaks have been playing from the back burner for most of the set. So when it's even, I feel like it's affecting Logo a little bit more. Yeah, that's right. He, he's not getting blown up in disadvantage as hard as, as he was before. Mm. Longo has to work so really hard. And the catch on the landing. Longo pressing there as a comfort as a comfort move. Just getting called out by the up air. Yeah, he, he really is. Uh, like, now, you, uh, you're right. Like, the longer set goes on, the more Longo starts to doubt himself. If his, his disadvantage options are getting caught. Like that, like, like the, the the idea was there from Streaks. He had the right option, just misspaced, mistimed it. And now Streaks has to recover. That Liz was so oh. good. Basically uh. covered like two options in one there. Yeah, because he's denied illusion. Mm. Um, so if if Streaks up is in in any in a space like anywhere near that, he like it's so hard for him to avoid the, the laser. And if he goes closer to the ledge. Um, to avoid the laser, you get down edge. Mm. It felt like a catch-22 situation. Definitely Longo catch played it very well, but he's a bit down in percent at the moment. But Longo back at ledge, or now you got by a weak dash attack, F smash. Which is definitely true on some characters. Longo just unable to escape this ledge, but the reversal, very, very, very nice recovery from Street. Just getting out of the situation, doesn't want to deal with it like at all. Doesn't matter if he loses a bit of stage control, it's better than losing the entire stock. Exactly. Oh, Jairo, Jairo not hitting. And Shield. Star Smash not quite yes. taking it. Literally like a few percent off. What a fat robot. Big, big robot. Oh, try to read an aggressive approach. Long is using these Gyro Gyro Charge oh, Flickers. Yeah, take the stock. That single hit fail was cool. I didn't know you could get oh, confirmed yes. like that. Oh, but Jairo is a lot. Long going his last time for this game. Yeah. Streaks is cooking, down tilt, back air, dash attack. Look at that frame Ooh, chap, damage. look at that damage. It does not end, not Streaks end. is on another level. From zero to 79. He with punish really? Rob back air with F tilt. That's what is insane. this man? Oh, the clutch air dodge there. Put one hit in there, but one hit there into net. Who is this man? This How is the best player in the world, oh man. My, and it's over. God damn. As we go to game five, true finals. Both in losers bracket. This is Streaks insane bringing set. it back. He is awake yet again. This is so insane, man. Streaks played that last game so well. Meltdown. Game ten. I'm having a meltdown. Game ten. We're both having a meltdown on this commentator's couch. It's gone crazy. If you're not watching this set, man, what is going on? You gotta be here. What are you doing if you're not watching this set? Who need Zomba? Who like who? This is this is. The, the, this is peak Rob Fox. This is pinnacle Rob Fox right here. But again, Longo is the strongest when he's ahead. I feel like if Steph does get a lead, he can pull ahead quite strongly. It, it is who controls the pace of the game, and as it stands, Streaks sort of holding advantage. At, at the moment, definitely the king of the ledge right now. Even though they're both strong at ledge, I still feel like Streaks spin it a little bit stronger at like doing what he needs to do as he said earlier he's denying the reversals that longest present uh trying to uh present and it means it's so hard for longer to get back in without taking a good 100 mm. percent it does not end need like, to delay the upper a little bit more to continue that combo there's like so many steps longer had to go through to to reset to neutral there had mm. to get off ledge had to 
uh, get out of the air, had to get back down from the platform, had to get out of the corner, only for a few few down tilts. Streaks is making him work so hard at the moment. Look at that, parrying the net, making Ooh. Longo doubt himself, grabbing him when he, he holds shield too long. He's, this is peak aggression. This is how we want to play this matchup. Longo's firing back, making his hits count. Jari co covers Ooh, the illusion. Nice jump to ledge. Mm. No other bind just goes straight back to ledge. Just brilliant play from Longo. You should die here. But what Fantastic an angle. angle! God's angle right there. We have to take these down tilts. Well, the slight DI um, away oh. meant the down tilt whiffed. Uh, otherwise, it could have been the oh, end. The one jab to check him. Mm. Play so well. Back air fresh in the corner, not going Back for the ass smash. Already committed to the to the narrow, the bear. I feel like this stock is big for Longo. If he loses the stock first and like streaks gets one confirm, I feel like a lot changes with it. But Ooh, Ooh, not quite taking the stock. But the gyro still not taking it. But the gyro <laughs> taking the stock just cannot get back. That covered explicitly the high fire box. No illusion, illusion with whiff. <gasps> That's such a risky double jump. It worked out. Still has to get out of the corner. And the reversal the back here. This time, Longo's not playing around Streaks' as reversals. It's a very different game here. Mm. It's very scary. Streaks is moving very fast here, operating on a different plane. And he's up in the pressure. Ooh. Longo defending very well at the moment. Oh, parrying that Jarrett to get out of play. Mm. Interesting. That gyro yeah. uh, uh, needs a close but, range. But, Jarrett, but Longo literally shooting out his gyro on cooldown. Just to control the space to stop Streaks from being able to move around. It's been very, very effective. And as soon as it's down, Streaks is just able to bolt in. No Jarrow in play. Okay, Jarrow back in play again. Ooh, good laser catch to jump in. It feels like Streaks has been able to whiff punish basically every option that Longo has presented, but it's not entirely consistent. Longo is still getting like these little trades and that's doing him so nicely here. Any stray hit from Longo Ooh. can kill here, but Streaks is opening him up once again. Making Longo throw out the, the, these very aggressive uh, back airs. Down tilt, down tilt. Jairo catches the illusion in. Laser going to force a, a high recovery. But another really well played recovery. I think Doesn't matter. Reset once again. But Streets managed to get the landing. It's very good. But a, a strong hit of Nair will kill now though. So Streets doesn't need to be careful of challenging Rob on these approaches. As you see, Longo shamelessly throwing them out to just maybe clip a kill. Is it? And what Streak's gonna do about it? He has to hard punish that. And Longo's constantly mixing up his drift. Yeah, as we see. <laughs> he he knew he was gonna kill. Longo knew it was gonna kill, and he kept doing it, man. <gasps> if that driver hits, man. If oh no, you might die here, Streaks. <laughs> be careful. <laughs> Hold on. Streaks has to be very He could lose it all here. Catch the the, the cover of that shack again. <gasps> what nice brilliant awareness from Streaks. Jar in hand. Longo looking Longo for reversal. Oh, Streaks dropping. What a, what a um, reflect. Literally has not been using it that much in this set. And the back end to take it. Final stock, game 10, long goal streaks. Who will take this? Long with a small advantage at the moment. 49%. It's all to play for, but I think streaks has actually navigated out of those like deadly gyro nair percents. And now Ooh, it means that streaks can in. open them up. But now long goal back at ledge. Luckily, he's trading with that fair. That fair didn't trade. So this game may have even just been even from that one situation. Exactly. It's a very scrappy gameplay. Down tilt, oh. down tilt, good DI out. Oh, very good at Streaks has had the patience to not jump in that situation. That's and it! Go to take it. And that's it, game 10. Longo takes it. Belts down. Out of Two. nowhere, I did not expect that at all. I was not expecting that either. But Such Longo persevered through it and takes meltdown. Held his nerve. Fighting from the loser's bracket, lost to Arch Nemesis, winner semis. Beat, uh, got the run back on Nemesis, beat Darkstalker, took two game five sets mm. over streaks, and he played those those last those game fives incredibly well. Fantastically. Really good stuff. He'll be happy of that. To take home a meltdown win. It's very good set here. Mm. Really excited. Really happy I got I got to saw got to see that man. A really good set to come to anyway. I'm heading out. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, it's been a pleasure you should do my comms more. Apply for comms at Rice. <laughs> Come. Maybe. Take care, if, if, if I can't be bothered to do yeah. comms, I'll do comms. You're so, you're, you're yeah. so good. Save Genuinely. Save the future data, right? You're a player. Thank you, thank you. You're doing a shift today as well. A little bit, a little bit. I, 
tried to commentate from here and there. It's, it's, it's so, it's, I'm, I'm really impressed with that. Uh, I think it helps that the sets were sick. The sets were so good. Freaking Nemi Longo was sick. Like all the sets on stream were so good. So the good sets helped it. If it was like a slower matchup, maybe it would have been a bit harder to commentate. But I guess overall, yeah, I really enjoyed this meltdown. It's a good meltdown. Longo was like cool as hell. That was really good. It, it's been a pleasure. I uh, hope everyone watching at home has enjoyed that uh, that Monday meltdown number two hundred and sixty. If you like what you you heard. Come follow us. We're sort of there, yes, there, and yeah, there, there. there. Yeah. I can work. There, there. and there. Yeah. yeah. Now, boys, uh, take care, everyone. Have a lovely evening. I'm gonna hop off. I've got work in the morning. I need to get back home. <laughs> Same, actually. Anyway, see ya. Yeah. Man.